air, water, earth, fire. Only the Avatar, master of all elements, can maintain balance between the four nations. But after the death of Avatar Kurok, our heroes find themselves in a world without one. Good start. Howdy, guys. How's everyone doing today? I, I nominate Sora to the recap, by the way. <laughs> you reckon? You reckon? Okay. I reckon. You are, you are, you are watching, like, right, Morgan? Yes. Are, oh, yeah. Okay, I can do this, this recap. So from Sora's point of view, um, as far as I know, we were in a boat uh, flying through the sky, uh, but, like, you know, through space, um, and there were, like, some giant uh, whale monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... Um, then there was like this giant explosion that was like it was just like a giant mushroom and like it was this friendly mushroom right uh and i just wanted to hug it and be its friend uh right and then the whale monkeys uh started attacking because uh they were fire nation whale monkeys uh from the future right ah. uh, and they thought that uh lao ban was the avatar uh, and they wanted to kill her. Um, oh, so I was, yeah, I was defending Laoban from the whale monkeys in space, uh, and then everything just went blank, and that was the end of the session. That was basically what happened. Uh, okay, so as you guys arrive, Sora. Yes. Everything tastes really fluffy. <laughs> the edges of the universe are spreading and folding in on e on themselves like an origami made of the purest tinfoil your uh, blood pressure is really high at the moment and you can hear it in your ears sort of like and it's kind of rhythmical and you kind of you're kind of vibing with it uh like rocking backwards and forwards on a few occasion a few occasions you have nearly fallen from the very top of the mask but corrected yourself using your air bending. There are several Earth Kingdom soldiers stood around looking somewhat concerned uh, at you at the moment. Um, from what you can see, they are all drawing weapons at you and are waiting to attack. Ah, I, uh, okay, I see uh, our friends on the dock. Hey, hey guys, uh, what am I doing up here? And, uh, where where did those fire bending whale monkeys go? Uh, uh, at, at that point, the, uh, the 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 mast of the ship creaks, and you hear a voice coming from the mast. In a distance, don't trust in any of them. You can't trust any of them. It's but only my you friends. and me. It's only you and me, Sora. We bonded through so much. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the mast. We were, we were the best of friends, remember? I helped you. Anyway, I need to mute. Just got to the bit where I called you a fucking idiot. It was great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sora, you feel um, uh, a strong wind blow beneath you uh, as the flag, as the, as the, the, um, the sail begins to sort of expand outwards. Please, don't leave me again. It's so lonely up here. I won't leave you. I just I need to get back to my friends, but... But I'll come back for you. You can come back for me, you promise? Yeah, I promise, and we'll, we'll continue our promise? adventure. Uh, uh, you don't have a pinky. Oh. <laughs> Way to hold that against me! I thought we were friends! I, I can't be friends with someone that doesn't have a pinky, I'm sorry! Oh, 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 I thought you were about this! <laughs> and the, the, the sail begins <laughs> bursting into like horrendous tears uh, and you feel your hands grow slick 
um, as you begin to slide down the pole. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Good riddance to you. Good riddance. Goodbye, I'll never forget you. I'm already trying to. Oh. As you, uh, uh, the ground uh, is made of wood and it creaks. And in your head, you think, boat? Boat. Boat. Boat? Boat. 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 Maybe boat. Boat um, in water or boat in sky? Back over on the dock, uh, you're only sort of scratching his head. Uh, so I think your um, I think your friends come down in most ways than one. I mean, she's always been pretty quirky. So, um... Oi, oi, um, um, uh, Airbender lady. Ah, uh, who was that? Her name's Sora. Sora, 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 Sora. How's it going? Um, Sora, from what you can see, this massive rock over here is shouting at you. Oh, oh no, not again. You don't have pinkies either. I mean... What? Yun looks down at his hand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, I, I'm... I'm sorry, I've just been through this with someone. I can't do this again. Okay. Um, well, we're just going off to the Avatar house. You know, the mansion. Hey, my friend's not the Avatar. I was telling you before. She's... She, I don't... Like she's she's just a normal human being. She's she's not the avatar. I'm telling you, you have to let it let it go. She's uh, not the. What is she what's she talking about? It's hard to find her, right? She's she's had a lot of cactus juice. I think it was the first. Are time you as working well. with, with? Are you working with the fi fire bending whale monkeys? In the I mean, sky? I'm a fire bender, but I'm not a whale monkey. The rock does now sound like Taka, um, who you know is a fire bender. So maybe in league with these firebending whale monkeys. Yeah, that sounds suspiciously like someone that's uh, a firebending whale monkey would say. Um, but yeah, how do I know I can trust you? I've never known of any firebending whale monkeys. Well, I'd be very impressed to see one. They're from the future. Well, They're I'm from, from the, the future, and I know in the future you'll come over here behind this rock, so you kind of have to do it. You're now. from the future? No, the whale monkeys are from the future. Keep up. Oh, oh, it's the cactus juice. It's the cactus juice. No, no, no I wouldn't worry too Did much. Did you see whale monkeys in the future too, Haruki? Well, I, I've seen a lot of things. Sometimes, you know, time feels like it might be somewhat displaced when you've had quite a large amount of cactus juice. And once you get to my age, then, Wait. I mean, time just becomes meaningless. You're from the future too. You're one of them. Laoban, get away from that, whoever that is. You, you, you gotta get get to me. Get We, we gotta get out of here. It's Haruki. He is right. I am from the future. Whoa! Oh, you're not making this any fucking better. Jesus Christ. You know, once I had some cactus juice and I dreamt that the entire world was flat, being held up by elephants, being held up by a giant turtle. Well, that's, oh, that's just fun. ridiculous rock. I know, right? Elephants and turtles. Like, not like hybrid animals, just pure elephants and pure turtle. That sounds really interesting. I'd love to hear it. It's actually about pretty that. fucked up. Yeah, With... yeah. Would I be able to, like, dismantle the rocks in front of us? As an earthbender, you could, yeah, you could you could try and crack them or just straight to oh. destroy them. No, no, no. Um, th that was me. <laughs> huh? Um, I'm not an airbender. I said earthbender, didn't I? No. Did I not? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you thought you were talking to Sora for, like, no, a second. No, uh, as an earthbender, you can. You can move those clocks. It's that yeah. Scottish accent yeah. of mine. Yeah, can I just, can I do that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can. How would I do that? You would uh, rely on your skills and training. Okay. You're about to blow my mind, though. Like, <laughs> Let me find that. This rock is is Taka in my mind right now. Yeah, so yeah. If he, if he breaks apart, I'm going to go, like, spiraling. I can't wait. You know? I, can't wait. I'm, I want to <laughs> hear the scream. <laughs> I'm trying to find skills and training. Give me like two seconds. That's fine. Where the 
fuck it's is on the it, left dude? hand side the left yes underneath push your luck and above assess the situation you want <sighs> you click the arrows to expand it under basic move, move reference there you go hey yeah um more or less yeah you walk over uh, how, how are you how are you going about this first of all um Faye's just gonna walk over to the rock t touch it and just make it crumble like right in front of her <laughs> almost like it just disintegrates uh sorry God, you just no! watch the rocks like just crumble into nothingness on the ground Tucker. beneath you oh no Tucker, i'm so sorry i said you have it, no pinkies it's, it's okay Sora. i'm alive and i have pinkies he does have pinkies. Where, where did you? How did you turn back into Taka? You were the rock, like. No, no, I think the rocks. Uh, I know she's the rock. Here. I point to. Uh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, Faye's the rock. Uh, it. She was. It, it's my. It's my stage name, I guess. Are There's a loud the splash. Too? As Erwin swoops so uh, swims through the sea. And clambers up onto the side, shaking himself ah! off. Oh, dragon. Oh. Dragon. oh, 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 If, if, if you just hop on his back, uh, Sora, a very handsome gentleman, has just approached. Um, he has like really fine hair, like swooped back. Uh, there's a look in his eyes that seem distant but caring. Um, and he, as he, as he looks you up and down. You feel a slight flutter in your chest. Oh, terrified. I am absolutely terrified of this scary thing. Uh, oh, I'm just going to oh. run and jump into the water to get away from it. <laughs> okay. Yep. Not As working. you land in the water, it's just... <laughs> you feel like a sudden sobering slap as it hits you. Oh? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh? Oh. I'm going to clamber up near Taka. Taka, I'm so glad you're okay. I was really worried. I thought I thought you disintegrated. Uh, no, no, I'm still in one piece. Have you disintegrated? Oh. Oh. Have I disintegrated? I don't know. Have you? I'm just going to, like, stare into the, the distance, into the abyss, and just, like, question my entire existence. Hi, I'm Yearn. And says as you as you stare in a thousand yard stare. Huh? Sorry, this yeah, is the cool. avatar. Cool. Uh, I'm I'm the I'm the avatar. Yeah, I just. Wait, are you I... are you okay? You're the avatar. Yeah, yeah, I'm the avatar. I'm the you know the sort of. So well, this whole the time when they were coming after my friend, they should have been coming after you this whole time. I guess so. Yeah, probably. Well, thanks for that, because you know I risked my life trying to trying to save her. But... You risked your life for me. No, That's not a... you. I don't even know you. Wow, you risked a you risked your life for someone you don't even know. That's very selfless. That's a very avatar trait. Uh, Daka, who is this? To be fair, she's also recently had someone risk their life to save her, and they barely know her. Did I? Oh yeah, no. that guy. yeah. Wow, you guys uh, you guys live wild lives. Is she gonna be all right? Probably she... not. Uh, are you also from the future? Right, I'm from starting the future, to think everyone uh, I mean, everyone. No, I, usually people come from the past, and then sort of progress into the future. Whoa, I'm gonna stare into the distance again, questioning <laughs> everything. Well, um, if if uh, we have everybody assembled, maybe we should make our way over to the Avatar Mansion. My bones are getting rather achy in this cold breeze. And she, like, shuffles her shoulders a little bit and looks expectantly. I'm going to keep an eye on Sora and make sure she doesn't wander off on the way there. Cool. Okay. Um. Well, if anyone needs anything, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be taking the lead, I guess. Uh. If she needs like a glass of water or something, maybe we should like. So Sora, tell me about these whale monkeys. She got something. I, they were terrifying. Okay, they were like so skilled. 
in the firebending. Like I've never seen anything like it. They were like, they were like shooting lightning and like redirecting it and like Whoa. and flying through the the sky like among the stars. It was it, you should have seen it. It was crazy. That sounds like quite quite the uh, the sight. Like if they weren't so evil, you could probably like learn from them because they were such skilled fighters. No, I mean I'd love to learn lightning bending. But trust me, you want nothing to do with those guys. They they were bad news. Bad news. So you guys make your way uh through uh through the village. Uh Sora, as you're going, um the world around you is somewhat fluctuating. Uh there's a bit of a fisheye lens effect going on uh for the world, and sometimes things go a little bit sepia and you think you're gonna pass out. But then you sort of like level yourself out very quickly. Um so, okay, from everyone else's perspective, occasionally Sora just stops on the spot and just stomps her feet, <laughs> and then carries on. Um, but then that's just I'm going to be, be right. uh, like walking along with Taka and like just holding onto his pinky, like yep. uh, letting him lead me. Is it just to remind myself? I, I that promise he's got I'll pinkies. never run out of pinkies for you to hold. Thank you. I feel better now. Anyway, you guys arrive. The outside. There we go. This might be one of the biggest Pretty. maps I've done so far. So as you arrive, uh, Jinshu is taking the lead, uh, along with uh, Yun and Kiyoshi, who've uh, the, all basically been living here for uh, for quite a while, essentially. Um, Yun sort of uh, turns to you all, starts uh, essentially giving you the tour of the area. Okay, guys, so uh, this is uh, the orchard. Um, now, we've got quite a few fruit trees growing there. Um, you can take as many, many uh, of, of, of those uh, that you want from there whenever you want. Uh, they're completely free to eat. Please do not eat of the sacred trees. They are uh, they are grown specifically uh, in aid of spiritual medicine. And you can eat as many as you like because they're basically... Uh, um, uh, rich in both sugar, but also quite low in calories. These are grab one. Trees. Please, these are these are spiritual trees. Please do not. Oh, no. And Jinju uh, walks around uh, uncomfortably as you guys begin uh, pulling uh, apples from the tree. I'm gonna have her hands on the sword so she can get some food in her. Ah, oh, friendly apples. Ooh. <laughs> um, but he's gonna eat one and give one to everyone as well. <laughs> What is that oh. thing? <laughs> oh. 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 Have you seen how cute these apples are? Look at their little faces. <laughs> Please don't eat me. I'm just oh. a little apple. Oh, Taka, don't eat them. Don't eat them. Oh my gosh. Please. Oh my god, what's wrong with them? Please, I have a family. No. Guys, stop eating them. Oh, Faye's oh. already like finishing eating hers. No, oh, Faye, no. don't do it. That was my son. Oh no, he was my firstborn. This was really I'm tasty. That so is gonna bite into one. one. You've just done. Ah! Look at no. <laughs> Guys, stop! This is genocide. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean? They're just apples. They're just. Cute little. little Erwin took his and nose in the box and is just chomping no! on them. All you can hear is just distant. So I was just gonna like collapse to the ground and just start sobbing. I'm so sorry, I couldn't help you. <laughs> and the world, the world feels so dark. And the pastel colors soon turn to bright fluorescent light. As you feel a thumping in the back of your head. <laughs> Suddenly, the world kind of writes itself a little bit. And you find yourself face first in the grass, the wet dew rubbing against your cheeks. You feel a moment of intense, painful sobriety. Oh, 
My head hurts. Taka, what are we doing here? Um, you seem to be touching grass. Oh, I need to do that more often. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Erwin? Are oh. you feeling any better? Uh, uh yeah. I, I, I'm really confused. Would you like some apples? Yeah, please. Here you go. I uh, promise this one won't scream. I did. I did Why state. Would it scream? These are sacred apples and should it not be. Oh, I... we probably should. Hey, hey Yoon, you're the avatar. Can't secret. you have an apple? Of course you can have an apple. Have an apple. Is that I do believe the apple? spiritual leader of all four nations gets the final say on <laughs> who gets I, these apples. I, um... Well, I mean, they're just apples. How spiritual can they be, right? Uh, they, Faye's already ate like two. They've been grown for ten generations. Oh, they okay. Maybe we shouldn't eat them. They're blessed. probably out of date. Oh. Oh, eat a couple of apples. No one's going to care, Jinshu. What, do you want to let them rot on the tree? Well, it's not It's not about how they, it, they are part of the cycle, the great life cycle of this planet itself. Well, yes, and they're also very delicious, Har Haraki says, uh, walking over and grabbing an apple off the tree and taking a large bite out of it. Jinshu just shakes his head and uh, walks off. Cool, cool. So that's the that's the that's the apple orchard. So that's that's pretty neat. Uh, over here, we've got a shrine. It's meant to be to like a god or something. I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of stuff I don't understand here. Um, inside the shrine, there is a what looks like a big, overweight man who looks really grumpy. Hmm. He's meant to give you prosperity if you stuck if you touch his stomach. Um, I've done it a few times. And he rests his hand on the man's stomach. Taka's gonna join um, in and poke the belly. Faye's yeah. gonna do the same. Prosperity uh, is a sexy thing, you know what I mean? It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Um, it also promotes fertility, so that's pretty cool. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> he steps away. Have you got any statues that um, sober people up there when they touch them? Or um... uh, We've got a stream that you can dunk your head in. Seems to do the trick, right? I mean, if you were to, if you were asking for me, like I, I feel okay. Uh... If you like, we've got a freshwater stream over here. It's pretty nice. I he like runs thirsty. on ahead. Come on, Tora. Ta Taka, will you come with me in case I fall over again? <laughs> I got you. Sorry, I had to escort the cats out the room. Did I miss anything? Uh, you were told the statue promotes fertility. Oh. <laughs> that was about it. Okay, that's fine. Laura, I'll do it in solidarity with you, and then Taka's going to shove his head into the stream. Oh, that actually looks really refreshing. I'm going to do that too. It is. It, 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 like, the, the stream is not freezing cold. It's actually <laughs> quite a nice temperature. Uh, and there are several uh ducks just floating around Taka can hold his uh, breath for a surprisingly long amount of time oh Taka, look at those turtle ducks they're so cute and they are not he can't size. hear you he's still submerged <laughs> imagine these turtle ducks are all from out and not and not colossal <laughs> <laughs> but i love the colossal turtle ducks yeah be... oh little really cute oh they're so little how how long has Taka been under the water for? Oh, he's fine, I'm sure. Young walks over and just prods Taka in the arm a few times. He's... That was refreshing. Oh, dude, you were holding your breath for like a good seven minutes. Yeah, That's me and Blake used to practice at the uh, beach all the time. That is gnarly. That's some good lung capacity, dude. That's a that's a that's an invaluable trait, I think. Mm -hmm. So, uh, remind me what we're actually doing here. You've said we're at the Avatar's Palace, but what? what I was actually about to ask you the same thing, cause like I was just told that there were going to be some people brought over to see me. Um, I thought it was going to be some like really like powerful like benders who were like, and no no offense to any of you, I'm sure you guys are really good at what you do. Uh, I was just expecting people that were really like powerful and experienced, you know. 
Uh, oh, and at that point, Jinshu mm -hmm. sort of wanders over. I thought it would be good if you had some specialists that were closer to your own age, though I am beginning to think that I may have had some folly in this. No, 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 not at all, not at all. It's it's good to good to meet people like my own age. I like honestly, I like uh, Taka here. He's great, you know. Uh, yeah, I am pretty Sora great. Hill, she's she's you know, she's definitely something. And he brought the rock with you, so you know, most of you know, been pretty good so far. Also, mm -hmm. this 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 chick I think talks to a turtle duck, so that's that's something. I mean. If you wanted, is it like, Jinshu, did you bring us here to teach Yun anything or something? Not necessarily to teach. I'm more hoping to nurture his abilities. I see. For him to unlock his full potential, he would need to be tested in several mm. ways. Oh, well, I'm good at writing exams. Uh... I, yeah, I, she's a big fucking nerd. College, yeah. I, I do not like, do paperwork. Are... That is my one rule. No paperwork. That's Kiyoshi's. Kiyoshi, you can do the paperwork, right? Don't worry, it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah I can, like, I can, it'll, I can it'll be a really paperwork. fun pop Yeah, Kiyoshi, Kiyoshi will handle the paperwork. Um, mm. Anything practical, so if we're talking, uh, you know, uh, any, 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 like, fights, uh, like, uh, any, uh, any, any, like, saving of beautiful, exotic women, anything in that wheelhouse, my area, 100%. I'm your man. I mean, you're already an earthbender, so I don't know how much I could teach you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a really good earthbender as well. That's like my whole shtick. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm so good at earthbending. I'm probably one of the best earthbenders. If not how... in the world, then, you know, at least in the uh, Earth Kingdom. How's your flexibility? My, 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 my what now? Your flexibility, you know. You can bend with rocks, but can you bend your body well? That's a very upfront question, Miss Faye. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I'm, I, I'm not I'm not necessarily the most uh, flexible per se, but I'm quite dexterous. You know, I'm quite I've got balance, great balance mm -hmm. actually. Um, so I'd say probably I can I can bend in any way I'd need to. Uh, Faye would like to like show off some of her like practical performance abilities that aren't aren't basically the same as wrestling but like you know how like um what are they call it? contortionists and stuff like that move yeah she'd kind of like to do that to show him what she means okay uh, how would you go about that what 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 are you going to show off uh is basically just like showing like stability <laughs> In your movement and fighting, basically. Because in her head, fighting's kind of like dancing and performances. Uh, so she spent a long time learning to use her body with her abilities. Okay. I would like you to demonstrate your dancing and acrobatics to me then. Giving okay. It a rely on your skills and training again. Watch me struggle to find it again. Two seconds. Are you doing it sort of at the edge of the lake? Or are you doing it elsewhere? It's just kind of like beside it, like not okay. too far away, but like on okay. the cobblestones. Yeah. If she really fucked up, she could end up in the water. That's what I'm banking on. <laughs> <laughs> so you, oh, um, you uh, begin by you crack your knuckles, crack your neck, crack your shoulders out. Uh, and with a bend of the knees, you do a superb backflip. It's a double somersault backwards. Uh, and as you come down, completely forget that behind you is <laughs> a massive fucking lake that you just pencil dive straight into. Just tsh, and submerge uh, and, and, and disappear under the, under the uh, surface of the water. Oh no, Faye, you're scaring the turtle ducks. Well, that was that was incredible. She like, did you see that? That was like a perfect dive. Like the water barely even rippled. Yeah, uh, he's gonna good. come back up uh, from the water. Your clothes and go... are now clinging to you. Yeah, um, and your hair is sopping wet. Uh, and there is a turtle duck uh, that is now sat on the top of your head. 
<laughs> um, Faye's gonna lightly like wriggle around in the water just to like get the water off of her face. It's fine. Sora can dry you. He's pretty good at that. Here, uh, take my hand. Uh, I'll give her a hand to help her out. I can help you get dry too. Oh, thank you, thank you. I I completely forgot there was a lake behind me. Yeah, yeah this it is gonna be to great. The rest of us. This is what 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 is? Just just watch. Uh, okay. Sora, can you give me a rely on skills and training, please? Yes. Mix success. Okay. I so, always get for that one. <laughs> bending the elements around your hand. Uh, Faye, your hair is blasted backward <laughs> in a arcing motion, creating this. You look. Think, think, uh, think, think. Jesse from Team Rocket, like the oh, perfect, like, pointed, uh, arcing motion behind you. Um, mm -hmm. And as you try and like flatten it down, it just <laughs> flicks back up. Honestly, I think Sora must be true calling as a hairdresser. That is, yeah, that is I mean, wild. There is like so much body to that hair now. <laughs> uh, Faye just kind of laughs at it and like grabs like a tie or something and just ties it up. The, it does not work. It doesn't work. That's just, fine. <clears throat> you try it. You try and put it in. It just ting and flies across the room. You know, like in the lake now. You, you have a lot of talent. <laughs> you have a lot of talent, Miss Sora. Thank you, and I'll take a little bow. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, if you have more space. If, if I mean, you, yeah, we have like a whole training room. You didn't need to do this like by the lake. That was, yeah. You know, I mean, I liked it. That was it's great. Whatever you were showing me there, that was that was that was skill. That was that was definitely there was definitely something to it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what it was. But it was definitely good. Most of the kids I teach learn by uh, watching. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of a learn by doing kind of guy. Mm -hmm. you Sorry, know, do you I'm still want to hold pinkies, or are you okay control. now? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, we can hold hands if that's what you're asking. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Just as friends, though, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Laban, uh, Malcolm is, like, staring daggers at the other turtle ducks. <laughs> Look at those smug bastards. What, what are you jealous for? What? No, no, no. They, they, they get, you know, look at them. They've got that massive fucking lake they're swimming around in. They can just do what they like all the time. You have that option too, you know? No, no, well... No, not really, because I've got, you know, we've got, like, adventures and shit to go on. It's really important. And I'm like, you know, the lifeblood of the party, so, you know. You can go for a swim if you want. Well, I was thinking that I wanted to, but now that I see there's others in there, kind of, you know, makes me feel, what if they try and talk to me? My turtle duck is not quite what it used to be. I don't think I've got the, don't think I've got the local dialect down. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons. Do you want to swim? Yeah, I want to swim. I want to go swim. swim. All right. I'm... <laughs> as he as he jumps in with a this little plop and the turtle ducks start swarming around him. No, no, no. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, look, Malcolm's making friends. I don't know if he is. Fuck right off. No, no. They seem to really like no. him. No. Oh. Yeah, I think it's a bit one sided. Oh, God. Oh. No, no. And then what What looks like a rather, what What, what we assume is the, the sort of mother turtle duck of some, uh, surrounded by her babies, sort of sidles over to him and gives him an amorous glance. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not from around here, so, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I'll try to be anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, you know, the problem is when you're traveling a lot, you know, you can't, can't really put down any, any roots anyway. You gotta like, you know, gotta be a free spirit. And that's sort of what I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, your kids are lovely, lovely. <coughs> well, yeah, maybe tonight if you want to, you know, just... As long as the kids aren't watching, I don't want 
any part of that, and that's not not my area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Malcolm. Malcolm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is getting weird. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Malcolm jumps onto your shoulders. <laughs> Well, that's fucking weird being on a one-sided conversation. Is this what the others hear? I have no idea. Do you not? Do you not understand them, I? No, just you. Oh right, I thought you'd like spoke turtle duck. Oh, the fuck's if I know, mate. All right. Do you want to try talking to him? I mean, I, I heard and I couldn't hear shit, so I'm assuming I can't oh, talk well, to him. Oh um, well, let's just say tonight I might have something of a uh, arrangement so I'm going to be uh, you know, just out and about, if that's alright It's fine by me, mate You enjoy your little date oh, We might skip the date and might just go right to the main course, you know Don't blame you It's been a while It's been a long while, anyway and he, uh, <laughs> shakes off his feathers and like ruffles himself up Is she still looking? And the turtle is staring up at you <laughs> Well, I don't like him too clingy, actually. Let's move out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So, um, yeah, that's the that's the lake. That's pretty nice. Uh, over over this way, we've got a vineyard where we, like, grow uh, grow growing grapes. Uh, I'm pretty sure we make wine here, right, Jinshu? It is sacramental wine. It is meant Jack for Jack is going to eat a grape off the vine. They are. <sighs> Faye is also going to eat a grape off the vine. <laughs> I bet the turtle ducks really like the grapes. They're always asking for grapes. Oh, do, should, they? do you know? Can you say Malcolm needs more fruit in his diet? Yes, actually. I'm gonna I'm eat a grape sure. over at Lao Ban oh, and yeah. say heads up. Well, I wouldn't mind a grape, you know. Maybe it's like <laughs> more of a raisin kind of guy, but you know, whatever. I mean, put it in your pocket and wait. Yeah, my pocket. Know. Yeah, my pocket. What pockets? I don't fucking know. I'm I, a I turtle just, duck. I don't wear... I just well, assume maybe... everyone has pockets. Well, maybe, you know, those clothes you bought from that bossing, say, uh, build a plaque spare. Maybe one of those has pockets in. We could put some grapes in there. Ooh. Wait for them to, you know, get to raisin point, And then there'll be nice treats. There you go. Good shout. Good shout. Um, Jinshu is like uh, watching you all as you f flurry through the bushes, pulling off the uh, some in some cases unripened grapes. Uh, the servers who are currently uh, picking out at the bushes look at you with slight concern. Come on, guys, have at it as many as you like. These are the Avatar's grapes. As many they, as you uh, want. They taste interesting, that's for sure. Very good. Mm. Yeah, some of them might not be ripened, so if you do get diarrhea tonight, it is not on me. But they largely taste good. They are nice. You gotta like squeeze them first, and he picks off one of the grapes and squeezes it. The grape explodes in his fingers and squirts him in the eye. Oh, okay, no, yeah, that's not not quite what I meant. But you know, was they that that one's a that one's a ripe one. That one's a ripe one. Uh Kiyoshi sighs, walks over to him. Uh, and pulls a handkerchief out of her pocket and starts rubbing his eye. Yep, yeah, uh, no, it's, it's in the corner. Can you? Ah, 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 no, no, ow, ow, no, ow, ah, uh, ah, you got it, you got it. How did you get an entire pip in your eye? I, I don't know. I squeezed it pretty hard. It just, it just sort of exploded. It was. Oh, hope this doesn't, you know, set off my avatar state or something. That'd be wild. Yeah, he looks around uh, as the two. I'm gonna lean over the sword and say, I think they're a thing. Yeah, I think so. Hey, uh, hi. Um, I don't think we've met yet. Um, oh, I'm Kiyoshi. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm Kiyoshi. Hi, Kiyoshi. I'm. I'm Sora. Tucker. Um, this is Tucker. We are not. We. Oh, I've met Tucker. Oh. We were. I didn't see you earlier, actually. Um, we were at the hot springs, so. I think I've. Uh, I've not been feeling too well. I don't really remember much from the last twenty-four oh, hours. Would you like me to? And she sort of walks over and just sort of places a hand sort of on the side of your cheek. As she does so, you feel a strange sort of sensation. Almost a comfort. A sort of feeling of... Um, 
strong spiritual energy connecting almost directly with your mind for a moment but it passes very quickly that was amazing how did you do that oh i haven't done anything i was just checking to see if there's something in your eye uh yun's been exploding grapes oh I... oh sorry i just felt weird i heard you were having cactus juice that can tend to sometimes do such things cactus juice uh oh yeah I don't really remember. Taka, did I have cactus juice? <laughs> Taka? Yes. Taka immediately dies. <laughs> <laughs> Too many grapes. <laughs> okay, Taka, I think that's enough grapes for you. I'm sorry, I think I think my stomach's not agreeing with a lot of this. <laughs> You feel an intense burning in your very bowels, Taka. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> your stomach begins to sound like a slowly boiling kettle. And your face goes very flush for a moment. And you feel your body ever so slightly stiffen as you try and hold back the inevitable. Taka, you okay? So, uh, where to next, Yun? Uh, well, we've got the shrine. Uh, it's just up that hill over there, actually. Um, are you guys in for a climb? Oh, yeah, always. Yeah, I, talk, I think <laughs> I like... have to help me up a bit. I'm still feeling pretty weak. I, I can help him if you, if, you, if you need it, Sora. Oh, yes, please. Uh, Taka's like, not looking too great himself. So. Guys, it's like a it's like a 30 degree angle. It's not like. Hey, 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 hey. I, I'm oh, absolutely I'm fine. Much. It's a, it's a gentle incline at most. Nah, too uh, much. Yeah, <laughs> takes the lead and uh, begins heading up the uh, the mountain top. <laughs> uh, Faye is just gonna follow behind um, and let Erwin wander around at the bottom, um, unless he can climb. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh! He sort of scurries around him for a moment and then just slides on his stomach back down. <laughs> Oh. I'll be back. I'll be back. Be a oh, good boy. Oh, oh, oh. She blows a wee kiss to him. <laughs> like bites the air as it comes towards him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kyoshi uh, sort of moving behind you. Okay, so uh, at this shrine, uh, we ring a small bell, clap your hands together, and then you bow. Uh, and then you can make a wish. Uh, and it's meant to bring you, again, prosperity and luck and many things like that. So if you guys want to take part in that. Yeah, we I, used to do something similar at the Air Temple. I don't think I've ever done anything like this. It seems like fun. Okay. Uh, so, Taka, as you approach, uh, your stomach is... Almost continuously... Uh, you sound like a. It now sounds like a washing machine that's yeah. on a slow, slow, uh, slow cycle, um, and you feel sort of like a gripping pain in in your abdomen. Interesting. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna munch another apple. See if the magic apple can fix this. <laughs> okay, I think you should sit down. You, you sound like Erwin. <laughs> uh, each bite of that apple, uh, each each swallow, makes you feel. Like you're really fueling a fire here. There is a uh, <laughs> there's something bad coming, and you don't know when it's going to happen. But when you do, it is not going to be a good time. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do what I do back. I'm going to ignore it. I'd like you to give me a harmony roll, please. <laughs> Munching that apple. Yeah, you're holding it back. Holding it back. Your legs twitching ever so slightly. But you're, you're holding it back. Um, Yun uh, hits the bell. Ding! And uh, claps his hands together and bows forward. And then lifts his head. Uh, please, uh, customary here to uh, take part, if you if you would. Um, so you said you've never done uh, anything like this before. Do you want to do it with me? Yeah, yeah. I, I've i always been traveling. I've never really stopped at shrines. It's been a long time since since I've done this, because I kind of 
gave up a lot of my sp spiritual life when I left the temple, but <laughs> it's kind of nostalgic. Well, oh yeah, no. this place is super spiritual. Yun. <laughs> hey, uh, Yun, which way is the bathroom? <laughs> the, Bless the bathroom. Bless uh, you. Uh, I mean, there's one by the... Uh, We've got the one by the bathhouse. Uh, is it one or two? Uh, probably just a one or a two. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I decide when I get there. Okay. Um. Yeah. I can. I can show you. Um. If you just want to follow me, and he's gonna like, helpfully, like, like, sort of, um, carefully help you guide your way across the um. Down down the hilltop. Just over this way. Come on. And he's going to lead you through to sort of the uh, the actual grounds. Um, it, with each step, you can tell you're getting closer and closer to the inevitable. Um, while they're doing that, I imagine Faye and Sora are doing the like prayer thing. Um, yeah, Kiyoshi. Uh, is sort of um, very, very quietly sort of bowing her head as well. Um, and then just very gently just rings and then looks at her and sort of smiles at you both. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to... Uh, after you. Mm -hmm. Don't be silly. Take your time. I'm learning. It's, it's quite simple, really. You've just got to... It's just about sort of honing your mind and your soul with the... the spirit world itself, almost. Yoshi, I sense you've got a really strong connection with the spirit world. It, Me? Has, uh, has that I, always been the case for you? I, I, I've had some connections, yeah, I think. I don't really know. I, I, during my childhood, there wasn't really much spiritual. Uh, are you activity. a bender? An earthbender? Or... Yeah, yes, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an earthbender. Much like well, I thought Yun was. I suppose he's the Avatar, so. Um, but no, I, I, I'm an I'm an Earthbender. I've got a, at least a little bit of Earthbending ability. I gotta say, I don't sense an awful lot of spiritual energy from the Avatar. Uh, not as much as I would expect to. Oh, he's still yeah. very new to his training, so you know it takes time. Yeah. For these abilities Maybe I'm to just grow. Out of touch with the spiritual side, anyway. But I, I definitely sense you, you've got a very strong spiritual connection. Mm -hmm. I would agree. I would agree. Oh, I, I, I don't know about that. I'm just... I, no, mm -hmm. I... <laughs> and she, uh, she goes, sort of flushes very red and starts looking at the floor. Um, Faye's going to pat her on the shoulder and just say um, something along the lines of, you shouldn't put yourself down when you work hard. Uh, no, it's, it's, not, it's not even something that I've worked hard at it's just sometimes i can sometimes i see things and sort of feel mm -hmm. things hey why don't why don't we all uh meditate together and i'll like take like put my hands up for both of them to take and uh, okay okay and she sort of um, uh, places her hand uh in yours um she's gonna do the same um she's just gonna take sora's hand and then link with kiyoshi as well um, as you close your eyes, you feel a very gentle gust of wind just pass through. Um, for you, Faye, it feels like a slight tickle of the nose. Um, and for you, Sora, you almost feel like there's a hand placing on both of your shoulders. Not physically, it's like almost a warmth. As though a sort of familiar sensation of someone, possibly from your past. Um, at which point, uh, Kiyoshi opens her eyes and looks behind you, blinks, and then like shakes her head, uh, and you feel this sensation lift away. Sorry, I thought I saw something. What? What is it? I don't know, it's someone he had he had sort of arrows on his head and he I don't know, it was very it was it must have been a 
trick of the light. I'm quite tired. Uh, well, this is a very spiritual place. You've probably connected somewhat to the spirit world uh, and might have seen uh, a past life or you know someone that you used to be close with maybe I think that happens quite frequently in, in spiritual places when when you do have a strong spiritual connection uh, like you seem to it was very odd um anyway um I, I've I I think Yun and uh, uh Taka have uh gone on ahead so maybe we should try and keep up with them <laughs> and she sort of uh, uh yeah, of walks down st stumbling slightly as she goes um she's a baby i love her mm -hmm. i want to protect um uh, miss lobana you are you okay yeah i'm i'm fine i'm i'm good don't you worry about me i'm i'm absolutely swimming mate right? Okay, it's just so... spirituality is not my thing. Okay, uh, no, that's, that's that's okay. It's not for everyone. I understand. Sorry, I wasn't trying to push you or anything. I... No, 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 that's totally fine. You you have yours. I'll have mine. Okay, yeah. Um. Well, we're just going to catch up with Tucker and Yun. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll I'll slowly follow. <laughs> as she goes to walk on, uh, sort of Malcolm turns to you. Could, uh, you could see if there's something up there for you. I don't know. I don't think there is. I don't know what there is for me, mate. I think you've got a lot more connection with spiritual realm than you think. You think? Because I don't. Well, yeah. You're the only one that can talk to me. So that's like, you know, that's something. Yeah, but like, we don't know what that is, do we? I just... Well, something special. I think there's something very special about you. You know, they've been talking about, you know, this this avatar man. You know, yeah. but from what I've seen so far, it doesn't seem so good to me. Oh, I don't know he's even the avatar. Shit. Maybe you're the avatar. <laughs> I don't think Sora's illusions are going to come true, mate. Well, you never know. No, I'm nothing special. Nah. And he uh, gently pecks your earlobe. You want to go up? I'll have a look. I won't do anything. Look. Go on. <sighs> that would be right. a thing. Come on. Oh, that's my line. Uh, as you arrive there, uh, Malcolm sort of like jumps down um, and uh, pecks his beak against the bow with a ding. For a moment. You don't really feel anything, and you just... And then... You feel a cold breeze on the back of your neck. And your fingertips begin to prickle. you hear a distant familiar voice that you can't trace and you feel a warmth in your chest it's a strange sensation it's almost a comforting feeling as though you're as though you're being embraced You don't know the exact sensation, but it's what you would imagine a mother's embrace to feel like. A feeling of warmth, a feeling of connection, a feeling of utter protection. You look down to Malcolm whose feathers flicker up for a moment. And you're almost certain you see a tear trickle down his eye. Nah, no, this place is, uh, this place is weird. Yeah, you don't say. I, um, uh, uh, 
<coughs> um, we should uh, we should probably get moving. Um, <coughs> yeah, I don't you know. Like, uh, wipe the. You, as you, as you sort of like instinctively look at Malcolm, you also feel tears running down your own face, uh, which you're, you don't understand why. Um, uh, and as 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 Malcolm sort of like hurries past, he's sort of like wiping his head on his on his feathers. Oh yeah, still got some uh, 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 that, that late water in my <laughs> in my eye. Yeah, I didn't even swim, and I think I've got a bit of Yep, yeah, uh, let, 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 we should go. We should go. We should go. Yeah. Just keep... <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Give me a minute. I. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. um? Did you? Think, was there a, was there a thing for you? Because I, I there might have been a thing for me. And I, yeah, I think there was. I don't know what it was. It was it was a lot, and I don't know who she was, but I don't know. It was the first time that I can recall that I felt safe. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Did she speak to you? No, it was just this really comforting embrace, and I, I don't. So, I don't see, know I, I've felt that. I've got, I've got, I've got a voice, and um, it, it, it said, or well, she said, she said, she said to protect her and to, and to, and to keep watching out for her. And I don't know, and I, um, mm, it was weird, and I felt a very weird sensation. And I don't think I want to go see that turtle duck tonight. Now I don't think I want to do that. I've got, that was, it feels wrong now for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Are we staying in tonight then? I might might need to stay in tonight. I need to. Um, I've got a lot to uh, process with this right now. Yeah. <clears throat> you too, pardon <clears throat> me too. Oh, I'm gonna need like a fucking lozenge or something. This is a. <clears throat> yeah. Should we take a minute and then we'll go join the others? Yeah, 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 yeah. When they're when they're ready. When they're ready. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Kiyoshi, um, is sort of, uh, looking at the rest of you. Um, so the, 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 the house is just up this way. We have also got a, uh, a small, a small barn there. It's got a couple of, um, a couple of animals that we keep, uh, sort of, uh, mostly for farm work. Um, so we, 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 we do collect, uh, we collect the eggs from them as well, uh, on occasion. Um... She's trying to play the part of tour guide, but uh, she is nowhere near as confident as Yun is uh, in doing any of this. Um, uh, Faye is like very enthused. She's very interested in everything that is being said. Um, yes. So there, they um, uh, uh, there's a lot of different um uh, 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 jobs that are take place around here, um, largely um. It, it's just to keep the, you know, sort of the actual agriculture of the, mm -hmm. the, the house and the grounds in ke in keeping. Um, the, the, so, I'm technically a servant myself, though I was recently um, uh, put in charge of l looking after Yun specifically. So I'm sort of mm -hmm. like a, a, a handmaiden, as it were. Um, so, um, but if you do need any um, um, information about any of the places around here, I can try my best to show you around uh-huh that, that's really cool uh Faye is very excited just to be here so is Sora <laughs> so she's like she's like really hanging cool. she's like hanging on every single word that Kiyoshi is saying she's just like uh-huh like really excited about it Sora's also like really interested like Kiyoshi is just like the, I don't know the, the way that she presents herself and like her like kind of energy is just like Really different to a lot of people, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Haraki, who knows how? <laughs> Haraki and Jinshu walk by. Uh, Haraki is clinging to Jinshu's arm, um, and he uh, looks extremely uncomfortable with it. Well, it's been such a while since you've taken me around these grounds, Jinshu. Uh, yes, my lady. I am. Um, uh, things have. Uh, Certainly changed since I last brought you here. Well, 
The lake looks just as romantic as it used to. I, I it was never meant to be a romantic spot. It's a very spiritual spot. Well, the spirit realm is romantic in and of itself, isn't it not? It, uh, and the two uh, walk on by. And uh, make the way over to the mansion. Uh, Laban, are you uh, are you done in the in the in the in the hilltop? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stay for a little bit and then I'll somewhere over. Okay, okay. Kyoshi uh, sort of takes the lead once again uh, and guides you through up to the entrance way um and you're now sort of in the uh sort of like housing area of which there are various um uh various buildings uh of sort of different sections so over here uh we have the servant section um over here is the bathhouse which thankfully did have an ensuite toilet of some sort as well uh, and then we've got a training room uh, just over here and then this, the main building of the mansion is just up ahead. Quite a large, fairly sizable building, um, of, uh, which uh, is upon uh, two floors. Um, so as you approach, uh, Jinshu uh, sort of looks to you. Uh, have we uh, have we lost one of you? Taka's going to walk out on cue, saying that he now feels a stone lighter. Guys, I would not go in there. Whatever happened was an abomination to all of mankind, Yun says, a haunted look on his face. Oh, are you okay? I think I might have had a bit too think... much mochi at the tea house. I don't think I will ever truly recover. Oh, dear. And uh, Yun <laughs> wipes a tear from his own eye. Taka, you're a good guy. But whatever your body just produced is the most unholy thing. I'm telling thing you, it's that Fire Nation digestive system. That's, it's it a sleet field chemical plant. Something is definitely burning in there, that's for sure. <laughs> um, Haraki, you know what the, I mean. Owen, Owen sniffs the air and then shakes his head. <laughs> and then... Looks horrified uh, and takes a few steps back. Mm -hmm. Jinshu sighs and rubs his eyes I'll make sure one of the servants uh, deals with that issue I would ask that you do not eat any more of the fruit of the garden he says scowling mm -hmm. slightly at Taka I'm glad you're feeling better Taka thank you, you didn't look I'm, gl I'm glad you're no longer high Sora <laughs> was I high? <laughs> uh, I mean you thought I was a rock well, Faye is the rock, isn't she? She is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, if we've got everyone, Ian says. Wait. And he does like a quick head to count. Do we have everyone? I think Lord oh. is missing. Yeah, where's uh, Lord? Oh. Who? Uh, the one that uh, we tend to avoid. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I thought we'd chuck him off. <laughs> uh, Laoban's just having uh, a moment to herself. Okay, that's, that's that's fine. Is she is she, is she all right? Did she need like uh, did she eat the fruit as well? No, no. Uh, she just went to the temple, I believe it was. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Spiritual, very spiritual. Mm. I've had some experiences there. I'll tell you. Lalban's not that spiritual though, so I don't know. Maybe. Well, you never know. It just takes the right place and the right time to feel something. She almost got recruited yeah. to a cult once, so maybe she is a lot more than we uh, think. Yeah. She nearly got recruited into a cult? Yeah, they had this red door. A red... Wait, what do you mean by a red door? Like a big red door. <sighs> uh. <sighs> My lady, I... I didn't think I was going to catch up, but I made it. I made it. Do not worry, I'm here. Oh, Lord. Hey, hey Lord, where's your loot? <laughs> I just... <clears throat> ah, I, am um, Sorry, I, uh... You're right, you're right. My loot. Ah. I think you might have left her on the boat. <laughs> Faye kind of, kind of sighs. I'm, I'm so glad you caught up, Lord. I admit my eyes. I was very concerned that uh, you'd got so far ahead. 
I, uh, huh. Huh. Have you been keeping up with your training? You seem very my, my abrupt. Training? My training, my lady. Well, yes, if you have to perform, you need to be able to hold, like... My lady, I will always perform exceptionally for you. Faye doesn't know what to say to this. <laughs> and kind of just nods and quietly goes, okay. Uh, Yun sidles over to you. Your boyfriend's really weird. It, he's not my boyfriend. Oh. He acts like he is. Can you say that a bit louder, Faye? Just so, you know, it's huh? very clear. You say that again, but slightly louder. Uh, Faye feels very embarrassed. I, I, our relationship goes beyond the mere trifles of uh, romance. We are two kindred spirits and understand that through the arts uh we are we are we are we are brought together in a spiritual bond it is nothing that can be defined by hey yeah and you're the hour talking you said something spiritual about this bond fuck no not even slightly <laughs> i mean Dude, the avatar crazy. has just spoken i, I, I huh. and Lars he's kind of literally the authority <laughs> figure on this whole thing uh, steps away and instantly like collapses in on himself like a dying spider. Oh, and uh, Kiyoshi, feels... Kiyoshi walks over to him and just very gently sort of places a hand on his shoulder. Sometimes um, unrequited feelings can be the, the most spiritual. He looks up at her and uh it's it, it's like he's looking up at pure sunlight for a moment. He sort of like shades his eyes with his hands. I uh, ha. Huh. Yes, perhaps, perhaps. It is not a it is just a trifling matter. I am uh, but uh, Miss Miss Faye's manservant. My my role is to do unto her whatever sh she desires. Uh, Faye's gonna walk over as well and give him a little pat on the shoulder and ask if he's okay. He stiffens up immediately and is on his feet. My lady, I am but divine. I'm sorry, I just had a moment of just panic, you know. It's mm -hmm. this, this unfamiliar environment. I've never been to this place before. There's mm -hmm. a lot happening here. Um, but oh. no, I am perfectly fine. I do not want to be stepping on any toes, as it were. <laughs> You're fine, and if you're nervous, don't worry, you know I can protect you. Yes, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> <sighs> um, she's gonna move back over to Erwin. Kiyoshi's just gonna very, uh, give him a sort of very tentative pat on the back, and then scurry away and hide behind you. <laughs> cool, okay, well... Would you guys like to see uh, my pad? You know, me casa su casa, as they say. Wait, where is that from? I've never heard that before. I, I think it's know, an Earth it's, Kingdom saying. Yeah, I, I felt mm -hmm. like it would sounded. It sounded like a legitimate thing in my oh. head. Maybe I think I it's can, like a coin like, that. Avatar, you know, and can coin things now, right? You know, people listen to the things I say. So, hey, did you oh, say hey. it again? Uh, me casa su casa. Uh, she tries to say it, but says it, like, incorrectly. She goes, Misuka Kaso. Perfect, perfect. That probably is right. <laughs> she anyway, nods. <laughs> uh, he looks over to uh, Loban, who is now caught up. You doing good? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. They said you were wigging out back then, so I just wanted to check. Never mind. <laughs> no, if you guys uh, want to follow me, uh, I want to show you guys around my pad. It is a sacred building. It is my house. It was built for the sanctity of... And we can do whatever we like here, guys. Uh, as you enter, uh, the hallway is already extremely crowded. Uh, <laughs> as Erwin uh, takes up most of the room. <laughs> Uh, there's also uh, two people standing at the entranceway. Uh, one is a uh, 
sort of middle-aged woman uh dressed in very uh regal fire nation attire and the other is a uh somewhat younger lady um also in fire nation attire uh, as they as they enter uh, kiyoshi's eyes light up for a moment as she bounds over uh to the young girl frankie you you're here I, I wasn't expecting you to be here yes yes i was uh i was actually summoned here today um it was not my intention to come here really i uh, had other things to be trifling with but uh you know mother knows best as it were uh jinshu uh, turns to you all uh yes i um these uh these are my my guests this is uh heiran and, and her daughter uh, rangi uh they are um dignitaries from the fire nation uh heiran is actually one of my uh closest personal friends and uh rangi uh you are obviously uh already well acquainted with Yun, i believe rangi how's it going yes i'm doing just fine thank you Yun. what's the tone did i do something did i do something i'm getting the feeling i did something no you did nothing as usual Yun. you did absolutely nothing cool that sounds that sounds good to me um who'd like a tour of the mansion yeah, Rangi why not? Buries her face in her hands. Taka's going to introduce guys. himself. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Taka. Oh, uh, also John, from the Fire I'm... Nation. Oh, really? Uh, where where whereabouts are you from? Oh, Ember Island. My uh, my stepdad owns a tea shop Ember on the Island. beach. Oh, oh, I I I I I holidayed there quite often actually. Um, it's great, isn't it? Uh, the tea shop. What what was it called? Uh, it's Ivan's Tea Room. Ivan's Tea Room. I've been there. Oh my god, I used to work there. You worked there. Oh, uh, that uh, young man. What was his name? Uh, the 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 cute one with the hair. Usually, people mean me, but I assume you must be my stepbrother, Blake. Blake is he sort of quite a, kind of scraggly hair, distant look in his eyes, uh, like he doesn't care about anything in the world. Did he? Did he also get your order wrong? Every time. Every yeah, time. that was him. In such a charming way. Well, uh, give him my regards if you do see him again. He was he, he he was definitely trying his very best, I believe. He was definitely trying. Yun uh, sort of frowns. Is that your... Uh, you, is he the one that you wanted to introduce me to? The one was like, you said, your brother? Oh yeah, I've got a brother, yeah. Right, right. Same guy or different guy? Uh, same guy. Only not the ah, one. okay. Okay, just trying to trying to keep up. Got to keep up. There's a lot of new information for me today. Uh, Rangi, uh, these are my brand new friends. Uh, really excited to introduce you to each of them. We've got uh, over here. We've got Taka. Now, me and Taka are basically blood brothers at this point. Uh, we've been through a lot together. Um, we've uh, you know we've really bonded uh, through the um, uh, about eight hours that I've known him. Uh, this is uh this is uh Sora, was it? Sora? Yes. I've known her hi. for about half an hour. She's nice. Nice to meet you. I'm excited to be here. This place is amazing. This is this is this is Faye. Faye is uh a, 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 a wrestler by trade, so that's pretty neat. Um, <laughs> uh she's also got a, a really sexy lion uh crocodile thing going on. So that's that's cool. <laughs> He's a crocodile. Crocodile. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> and uh, that's her boyfriend, Lard. No, not boyfriend. Not uh, boyfriend. Faye that's gets... her not boyfriend, Lard. Uh, Faye turns red. She gets embarrassed again. And uh, this is uh, Laban, right? Laban? Yeah, that's me. Hidden behind the uh, crocodile. Yeah. Uh, wow. And she has a turtle duck, which I think she talks to sometimes. And occasionally disappears into her cleavage. Oh, okay. Interesting. Rangi says, uh, sort of looking around at you all. Um, well, I'm just going to go settle my things down in my room. Wait, you're staying? Yes, I've come all the way from the Fire Nation, Yun. I'm not going to... It's not a day trip. Oh. How long are you going to be here? I 
don't know. However, long mother desires. Hiran uh, looks around at each of you, uh, gestures to Jinshu, uh, and uh, they both hurriedly uh, move out of the room and uh, I suppose disappear off to his study. Well, don't mind me, Haraki says, pushing past each of you. I'm just going to go drop all my things off. She disappears off up the stairs. Um. Cool, cool. Okay, well, that's nice. Um, So, yeah, I can give you guys the tour now if you'd like. Um, yeah. You Lead the way, I dude. See it. Okay, follow me, guys, over this way. Uh, we're just gonna go into uh, the the living room. Come on, come on, come on. Keep moving. Come on, come on, guys. Don't keep the avatar I'm waiting. I'm gonna take Tucker's hand again. <laughs> um, Faye's gonna follow. Kyoshi and Rangi both disappear upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Not like that. Lord, Lord. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need to give you control of him at this point. Yeah. Second pet. <laughs> Basically. Okay, guys. So this is the uh, this is the lounge. So we've got a piano over here. I don't play a lot, but I play a little bit. You know, just tickle the ivories now and again. Uh, we have one of the finest libraries in the Earth Kingdom. Now I know wherever right. you go, people will always say that they've got. The I'm gonna let go of Sora's hand and let her go to the library. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You can come with though. <laughs> so like this, 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 this library. There's so much. Uh, so wow. many books, and tomes, uh, lots of interesting stuff that Jinshu's like collected over his time. So J Jinshu, I don't know if you guys know anything about him. He used to travel with uh, the Avatar, uh, not me, the one before me. Um, and he would, uh, he, he'd, he'd sort of uh, saw a lot of the world, went out on adventures uh, with him. Uh, you know, made lots of sort of uh, uh, friends along the way. Um, Fought in a few wars, killed a few people, and all that sort of stuff sort of documented around here. Uh, he's also got lots of spiritual books that he's been studying. Uh, apparently, whilst he was looking for the Avatar, he had like a lot of uh, a lot of books that he had to read up on to try and uh, sort of connect with the spiritual realm. So, you know, lots of things like that. A few a few scrolls as well here and there that might give some uh, insight into certain bending techniques and things like that. Just, just little trifles like that. Uh, mm. I'm meant to be uh, working through a lot of that, but as I said, I'm more of a practical learner. I don't really like I'm not really into reading. That's have you have you tried reading it out loud? Reading out loud? Yeah. Um when I Oh, you like like uh, like uh, like speaking the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, like I... um when we're doing a performance when we have to have our lines, um we read them out loud and move around so we get better at like retaining the information. Oh. Also, I mean, uh, you could have someone read to you. Yeah, I was just about I mean, to say that. What if you had someone just read the book for you? Well, like, a, mm -hmm. like, like just out so loud. much knowledge in these books. Like, you can learn so much from these. Maybe I could ask Kyoshi to read to me. I think she'd be willing to, actually. Mm, I think she would be willing if you asked her. Yeah, I mean, she would be I'm pretty sure Sora, he would be willing to do it too. I mean, I any excuse to read these books. You want you to you read to me? Well, I'll read to everyone. No, no, but to me specifically, right? Uh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, we're all good. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, like, these books, as I said, that you're free to read any of them. Um, there's a lot of knowledge in them, uh, apparently. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm just a more practical kind of person, you know? I'm a hands-on kind of guy, you know? I want to be the guy writing the books one day, you know? Or people writing the books about me, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, no, I jest. Well, I mean, I, they probably would, Avatar and all that, but, you know... Can I ask when you found out you were the Avatar? Have you uh, I mean, known? I, I didn't know. It was very recently. Uh, Jinshu actually found out. How um, did I know? It was. It was just something. I think it was a gambling technique that I was using. He said it was. It was completely did, reminiscent of a technique did he that my the, predecessor uh, used to use. The toys uh, from. The avatar, uh, where you had to pick out a toy. Um, uh, not quite. I mean, that was that's something they do when you're a kid, and I'm 16, 
so it doesn't really work in the yeah, same I mean, way anymore. it doesn't really make a difference if you're uh, older it's just if you have a spiritual connection like if it's almost nostalgic too i guess i mean yeah i mean i connected with a couple of the toys but again we didn't think that was a foolproof way given sort of how long it's been it's kind of unprecedented really to discover a yeah. avatar in the game so uh, i it was it was it was tricky and but yeah, he he figured it out, and you know he knows better than anyone apparently. So, yeah, I was I mean I was I was as shocked as anyone. Like I knew I was a decent bender, but but I had this other side to me, this other life. It was strange, very strange. Interesting. Life changing, even because um, I was I was just a street rat. I was like I was like you know literally out on the out on the streets, you know been a bit of a rascal tricking people just making money where i could much like yoshi was like pretty much peas and apart in that regard um yeah no idea where my parents are either so you know there's a lot really that i'm just not sure oh, i don't wait, know i'm an orphan too oh really yeah I, that must be what we're bonding over right? that possibly I think is yeah felt, like this this connection with dead Dead parents, man. Dead parents. Whew. Anyway, Faye's gonna, Faye's gonna pat Yoon on the shoulder. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, you know, like we, you know, you, we move on. We learn. We you become better people for it. You know. Mm -hmm. Don't fine. forget though that even if other people aren't there, you still have people to rely on, right? Yeah, of course, of course. And that's it, like, Kyoshi, Jinshu, especially, they are like my family. Mm -hmm. um, and they've been real, real pillars for me. I don't know what I'd do without either of them. Uh, I mean, yeah. Even, even Rangi, I, I mean, I've not, I don't get to see her that often, but when I do, it's like, just straight up as we were, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, so, yeah. Faye gives him a hug. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, he sort of hugs you back, uh, looking a bit confused. She she vibes. She's not on the best term with her parents, and sometimes sometimes it's better just to not have them. Than, <laughs> uh, but she doesn't really say that. She just kind of like she she kind of just like understands a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Owen mm. says, nestling his head into in, into stomach into the stomach of Yun. Kaka's gonna get in on that hug as well. Okay, yeah, oh, why okay. Not? I'll join I'm in feeling, too. Wow, feeling the love in this room. Okay, <laughs> thanks guys. Uh, Laoban, get over here. Do I fucking have to? Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't yeah. if you don't want to. That's fine. Uh, no pressure. Fine. Uh, you all in, in, engage in a warm avatar hug. Uh, <laughs> Well, I feel I'm feeling the feeling the spiritual power. It's gonna suck when I have to kill you all tomorrow. Wait, That's a joke. That? <laughs> a joke. It's a joke. Uh, but no, seriously, I think uh, Jinshu is gonna want us to uh, fight at some point. Um, he was talking about it uh, earlier. Um, he reckons that if I engage in some combat with some powerful benders, then it might unlock, you know, some. The latent abilities within me, maybe even you know, bring out my you know other bending abilities. Because so far I can only earth bend. I've only got mm -hmm. bending abilities. I haven't really. I mean, I can't promise I'll go easy on you. The... I wouldn't want you to. I, I'm very, very powerful earth bender. I'm, the... I'm not exaggerating. The promise of a fight makes Faye really excited. I mean, every single person I've used my fire bending on has possibly died. Even the ones I've tried to help. Oh. Well, that's cool. It's often left Maybe very unclear as to what their fate really was because we're pretty vague about it, but we've not seen them again since. I didn't actually ask. I mean, I made assumptions based on your garb of like your abilities and stuff, but Taka, you're a firebender. I get that. Uh, Maybe, yeah. Sorry, you, you bend. You're an airbender? Yeah, I'm an airbender. I wouldn't say I'm exactly a, a powerful bender, so I don't know how well I'll be able to take you on in combat, but I can certainly give it a go. I've had some pretty decent training. Uh, okay. Well, no, no, no. I mean, it's any, any. Uh, I, I, I can't even 
bend the slightest bit of air yet, so that'll be an interesting... Maybe going up against an actual airbender will help, you know, awaken something. Who knows? Who knows? And, uh, Fei Ying, what's your... You're, 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 you're an, yeah, you're an earthbender, right? You... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was going to say, I've seen what you can do, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, Loban, are you... you a bender too? Yeah, but I, I don't... I don't use it. You don't use it? But very you rarely. Uh, are you with fire. the... Are you, fi fire, firebender, like, like, like Taka. Yeah, like... Uh, but I, I just... Uh, it's not my thing. You two look way different. But you don't look like a... Like you're from the Fire Nation. Hey, we don't judge people based on what they're looking. No, no, it's just. I, like. it's just uh, I just assumed she was making a fashion assume. statement. I just wouldn't have assumed. It's like your garb is like so different. It's, it's wild. <laughs> it is kind of similar from. to mine. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I uh, woke up with this. So. <laughs> <laughs> woke you up. Know. Woke up like this. You you woke up like that. I I don't remember anything past a couple of months ago. I don't... Wait, what? Yeah, we don't really know. You and oh. you're the avatar. Can you like use your spiritual powers to like unlock her memories or something? I mean, I could try. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could try. Do you want to? Do you want to try it? Do you want to see if we can unlock any of your memories and like <sighs> go for it? Okay. Right. Okay. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I can. I can give it a go. Uh, fo fo follow me. We'll go to, go over to the fireplace. Come on, come on. He's got to I'm gonna stay over. here and read. Um, <sighs> Faye's gonna follow because she's curious. I don't really want to go to the fireplace, but you know. Sorry, do you need me to turn the fireplace off? I mean, is it too warm or is it? Too... I, I just don't like fire that much. <laughs> okay, I'll just grab a pile of books and. Fire then. Away. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm well aware of what I am. I just oh, sorry, don't... sorry. Okay, no, I, I'm sorry. I'm very new to this. Uh, come mm. sit next to me. I'll um, and he sort of like fluffs up a pillow for you. Uh, it's it's okay. Just get 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 some, just relax yourself. Um, and I'm gonna try to make some cool ocean noises first of all. <laughs> Is this what you would? It's like Tennis Attacker, is this the sort of thing? Am I meant to... Do we need to, like, hold hands, or...? Uh, I don't think that's really how it works. Do meant you... to, like, spiritual... Mm. What, 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 can I just take your hand for a second? You should always ask permission <sighs> first. Yeah, like these things. Sure. But... Okay, okay. You take a hand. These hands are very soft and warm. Um, far too soft for uh, such a young man, really. But he, um, he holds them, and he... And he seems to be thinking hard. He's like, spirits connect with the spirits. Getting a name. Getting a name begins with a an L, an L, a l l l l something, l l l Lulu, Lulu. Anything? Lucinda? Something yeah, like yeah, that? that sounds like it could be a name. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's let's write let's work with that. Um now. I'm gonna try and commune with her. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 No, I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm sorry. I like this is this is really hard for me. I like I'm I'm I've got some connection to the spiritual realm, but I can't just you know switch switch it on like that. If you want, I always thought this avatar was supposed to be like really connected to the spirit world. Isn't that kind of the point? I I think I think it's it's again it's something that comes with training. And like, um, mm. one thing that uh, Jinshu is always saying is that I lack, uh, what's the word? Discipline. Discipline. I mean, sorry, didn't you uh, quit your spiritual training, training to go to university? Yeah, I mean, I had a very extensive spiritual training at, at the Air Temple because I was supposed to take on the the role of spiritual leader uh, of of the temple. Uh, oh. 
And you but... chose not to do that. No, I don't. I, 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 I enjoy Is it because you're scared of needles and, and tattoos? And... <laughs> uh, that's part of it. No, <laughs> I just wanted to, to study and research and like travel around the world to learn. All right. And were they okay with you just going? Uh, I convinced them. Because like, mm. oh, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I, mean, but, I like, always thought Evan is a super serious about this sort of thing. Yeah, right. I kind of pitched it that like it would help me connect to my spiritual side, which yeah, maybe it did. Maybe. Like you know, when you when you've got a task that's like put to you, you know, and and it's considered your future, you know, people have decided that for you. That's kind of, mm. you know, that's something that uh, you that's know you can't really get out of. But what I'm saying is like you just have the option to just leave. Well, yeah, it did take some convincing, but. It's what I wanted, and I think you have to follow your heart. Uh, otherwise, well, what kind of life are you really living? Faye kind of like nods along, and she's just like, I think it's really important for people to take a look at their situation and step aside if it's not what they want. Yeah, exactly. You have to forge your own path. Mm -hmm. I did that with the circus. You in the circus? Um, I, I was when I was little. Oh. Like a like a clown or a <laughs> no 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 i uh, think um gymnast or contortionist or something like that oh like that that's how you could do that that backflip dive you did yeah yeah it, it helped a lot with my training and earth bending and then uh, wrestling as well i have pretty good balance so you're running away from your responsibilities at the uh, air temple you're running away from your responsibilities at the circus what are you oh no i just what left are you running from taka um, rude customers. Oh, okay. So you had like a you had a job. Yeah, yeah. Serving from tea to fire nation nobles. One was kind of handsy. Okay, that doesn't sound neat. It really wasn't. He got so kidnapped by pirates, doing... though. So um, I guess things worked out in the end. Oh, okay. Hey, well, that's cool. You, I can like try my best to help you with airbending, but yeah, I might be able to help you with. Like your spiritual connection, if I uh, kind of teach you what I was taught. Oh, that'd be that'd be awesome. I mean, to be fair, Kyoshi's been trying her best, but uh, again, I just lack the concentration at times. You know, I've just got. Uh, I kind of feel like if anyone could help you, Ky Kyoshi could, though, because like, wow, that she's definitely got some very strong spiritual energy. Like, right? I keep telling everyone. Probably the strongest no that I've ever felt. Like I keep, I keep telling everyone, but uh, no one seems to be paying any attention. Like she's special. There's something very special yeah, about her. Yeah, I, I got that too. Really. When I first, when I first met her, I really wanted to fight her. Like, and and like a. <laughs> and. No, I get that. I get that. She's got a, like, for someone so meek, there's a powerful mm. aura to her. I can tell she would be good at a fight. I'm. Uh... Oh, she is. Yeah, she has. Uh, she has handed my ass to me multiple times. Faye's like nodding and along. And I'm completely okay with that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, she I think she went upstairs. Um, but yeah, uh, Laban, if you're wanting to speak with anyone that might be able to connect, Kyoshi might be the one. She might be able to help you with that. Yeah. I know I'm meant to be the avatar, but I'm not there yet. I'll get there. You know, maybe, maybe come back in a couple of years and I'll be there and I'll be able to be this mm -hmm. wise sage. Where everyone wants me to be. You're definitely nowhere near there, are you? Well, no, no, no. But I'll get there. I'll get there. It's, you know, you've got to work at it. You can't, you know, the, you know, the turtle duck does not just simply become the turtle swan. I don't think they have the capacity to do that anyway. No, that's no? Not I, I think those are two I'm completely animals. different animals. I'm not, I'm exactly. saying, I thought that was, I don't know. You see... It, Jinshu wax is a lot of poetic, and it's sort of it's just sort of merges into one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, do you guys want to like see your rooms? We've got some rooms like ready for you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. If you follow me, uh, we'll just go up, uh, go up the stairs then, and I can uh, show you around. And he leaps out the seat. I'm gonna try and carry all the books with me, but still take the books in hand again. <laughs> Sorry, need a um, hand with those. Oh yes, please. I take a few of my hands. Um, Faye gestures for lots of fall. <laughs> yes, my lady, of course. Oh, sorry, you stood on me. Holds the door open I'm for sorry. you. Sorry. 
After you, Sora. Okay. Thank you. Oh shit, I've got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if if you give me permission to move his little uh thing, I'll I'll move it for us. Mm -mm -mm. There you go, you're now upstairs. <laughs> um, you know, I could actually give you authority to move Lod somehow. Somehow. I'll sort out later. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. So um, I think uh, Kiyoshi and Rangi might be sharing a room, which is, you know, that's cool. Um, they they they're really good friends, yeah. Um, the bottom bottom right room, uh, that's Jinshu's, so you can't have that. And the one next to it is my room. Uh, but all the other rooms are fair game. Um, as I said, I wasn't aware that uh, Rangi was staying, so uh, mm -hmm. might be one less room. So some of you guys might have to share. These beds are real big, and they're so. We share all the time, as long as Taka gets his own room. I mean, Taka, you can share with me if you like. Oh yeah, let's oh, go. Uh, oh. I wouldn't recommend it. Why is he a snorer? You could say that. Why are you a snorer, <laughs> you? Oh, I am the worst snorer. I just can't. Like Jinshu has basically soundproofed my room. I'm that bad. Oh, oh awesome. Okay, you sleep. Together then, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Do you want to go see my swords, Taka? Oh yeah. Follow me. Um, I'm gonna show you my swords, and they uh, runs off. Hello, Ban Sora. If you want to share a room, I'll share with Erwin and Lord. Yeah. Are you sure? Uh huh. Oh yeah, I'm used to it. Okay. My lady, of course. I will. Uh, I'll make sure to sleep on the floor, though. I wouldn't want to. Uh, Oh, don't be silly. There's a couch. <laughs> of course, of course. Yes, the couch. <laughs> and he uh, looks down dejectedly for a moment. <laughs> Man, Erwin she... should not fit through any of these doorways. <laughs> he he is slouching and um, sweeping his way through. Uh, any preference? Uh, Faye doesn't really care. Um, she's like used to like sleeping out on like hard rocks and shit like that. Like, like we'll as yeah. Hmm. Oh, a desk! I gotta put all my books on the desk. <laughs> 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 Some of them may have to spill over onto the floor. <laughs> Faye's gonna, gonna make so sure. <laughs> Faye's gonna make sure Lord has a blanket and pillows and stuff like that. So he's. Oh, thank you, my lady. Thank you. But ah, oh. uh, your love is my only warmth I need. <laughs> Just take care of yourself, Lord. That's all that matters. Of course, of course. And he uh, flutters his eyes closed. Holding his loot in his arms, he falls asleep. Okay, so, Taka, um, these swords are vintage. Uh, I think some of these are from the Fire Nation. Oh, sweet. Uh, they're called a katana. Have you, oh, have wow. you seen one of these before? I, I literally have never seen one of these before. They look so cool. Fold, you've fallen over a thousand times to get the sharpest blade. I think they're really cool. They are. Anyway, you gotta, you got to just pull it out of the sheath like that. Um, and he starts swinging the sword around um, wildly. Um, do, do you want to have a sword fight, dude? You want to you want to have a sword fight? Let's have a sword fight. No, I have I have more swords. We can have a sword fight. <laughs> Jack is gonna grab one. It's gonna jump Roll onto one. the table. No gouging. No gouging, but I have got the high ground. You've got the high ground. That's the thing, I right? The avatar. So, <laughs> come at me, bro. I, I come at him with the sword. Okay, I'd like you to do a strike against Jan <laughs> with your katana. <laughs> One second, actually, we need to change the music for this. With a strike, 
You come down on Yun. He raises his sword with a ching sh shit. He shouts as he like jumps backwards, uh, sliding across the floor. Instinctively, he grabs the bed frame, pulls himself back, and throws himself forward at you, making a strike. Oh, do you remember um, that uh, that weird dream I told you about today? I talk uh, while I was sword fighting. What, the one about Erwin one? and Haruki. Oh, oh God, yeah. Ugh. I mean, I, I have a few concerns about that, but slightly... Um, so, before that dream, I had another dream about the whole, like, world book burning and, like, you know, there is no time and whatever. Kind of weird one. Oh, that's but cool. then, but then, but then, the sword yeah. at you and, like, you, you feel like a... You feel the, the side of the blade, like, strike you in the stomach for a moment. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Carry on, carry on. All right, so, yeah, I had this dream about, you know, there is no time, all should, but all should burn, whatever. Kind of a boring okay. last one, but then Sora <laughs> had the exact same dream, and now I'm worried she might get the next one. Oh god, that sounds so weird. Ah! Oh, you and I think I might be the one causing it. I don't want her to have that dream about Haruki and Erwin. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't really know much about dreams. I know that dreams are meant to be like the gateway into the spiritual world. So maybe it's something relating to that. I don't know for sure. Um, you gotta jump on the table. As he does, he completely eats shit. <laughs> and the chair creaks and cracks underneath it and crashes to the ground. Thankfully, no one hears this because this room is entirely soundproofed. Shit! Yun shouts as he, like, lands on the floor, clambering to his feet real quick. The chair's really old. Taka's going to do a flip creaking. off the table and land opposite Yun. Okay. Give me a roll for that. Taka, you, you go to do a flip, but you go head first straight into the ground with a ah. <laughs> <That's you. laughs> And for a moment, you feel your, the impact on your face as you take uh, two points of fatigue. I'm okay, I'm okay. Shit, are you, are you all right? Yeah, you I, it's, real it's, hard. it's fine. It's, your, it's, your face is bleeding. It, 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 it's nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Do you, need, do you want me to like wipe it off or something? He's like, he's like reaching. He's like, no, what I need to... to do is parry this, and I'm gonna go for a strike as he gets in close. Okay, go, on, go, on, go on. <laughs> oh, you nearly had me. You nearly had me. Uh, and uh, Yun is gonna strike you with the hilt of his uh, sword uh, firmly in the stomach. Um, Which you sort of manage to partly move out of the way and it catches you just in the side. As you feel like a, possibly a bit of bruising from there, but nothing nothing to actually harm you. Um, oh, damn, you're pretty good. I am literally the Avatar. We've been Although I should warn that. you, I, I have picked up a stick and fought with my brother many a time. And I rarely oh, lose. Well, if you're this good with a stick, who knows what, how good you can be with a sword, right? Oh, dude, dude, what if, I had, what if we had two swords each? Shut up, Yun says. Two he swords. runs over and grabs another sword. Uh, and runs. Go on, go on, take it, take it, take the sword, take the sword. He takes the extra All sword. Right. I can match, I am actually uh, ambidextrous, so this is like pretty easy for me. Oh, so. I'm left handed, but um, oh. I tend to, you know, try and use my right when people are watching because I know how people are about weird about that. Right, right. I used to be left-handed. That's why I learned to be really good with my yeah, right Yeah, I'm just really self-conscious about it. No, you need to be self-conscious about it, man. If that's your dominant hand, that's your dominant hand. Don't let anyone ever talk you down on that. All right, well, then let's uh, see you parry this, and I'm going to give him a strike from the left. Okay. He's going to try it. He's going to attempt to parry it with a using his uh, passion. As you strike through it with an X motion, he blocks the sword, flings them aside, and then raising his foot, kicks you firmly in the stomach, knocking you back. Oh, oh. I'm going to uppercut him. <laughs> what, just your fist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's <laughs> what dudes do, okay? Yeah. Uh, so he, he moves out of the way, so you ca instead of taking him under the chin, you manage to catch him sort of on the side of his cheekbone. And he's sort of, ah, oh, oh, dick move, dick move, dick move. Yun says, and he's going to just tackle you. He's just going to full on just like tackle you. 
Uh, he charges at you, strikes you onto the ground. And poof, you both fall to the ground, and he is now on top of you. Uh, no homo. Um, can I try moment. and roll over so I'm, I'm the one on top this time? <laughs> you certainly can. <laughs> you can try and top the avatar. <laughs> So you're now in a you're now in this like rolling like embrace. Both of you have each other's like uh, jackets like pulled towards each other, and you're both sort of rolling from side to side across the floor. Uh, neither one of you seems to be able to top the other. You know, it seems like you just keep switching from top to bottom, uh, just vigorously, continuously, until you're both feeling extremely exhausted. Eventually. Yun breaks away and lets out a loud gasp. <gasps> oh, I need a breather. I need a moment. I need a moment. I need a moment. <coughs> oh. I'm going to go get a, a glass of water. You want one? Oh, if you've got one, yeah. There's also, I've, I've, I've hidden some fruit under the uh, in the drawer under there as well. Just oh, like sweet. Okay, I'm going to go uh, that grab that. <laughs> take the edge off, man. Whoa. Oh. I'm going to sit at the foot of the bed. <laughs> Yeah, you both just sit on the bed. And I'm gonna hand him a beach. <laughs> oh, he's juicy. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's good, man. You, you are formidable. Like You're I said, like a... I've, I've got a brother. We wrestled all the time with sticks. You used to wrestle like that? Well, I mean, with your brother? He, oh, he, he didn't really put up much of a fight. Did he not? Was he not really a fighter? I mean, he'd start the fight, but then I think he's all. Sort of was so unmotivated he'd give up halfway. <laughs> what an idiot. I'd never I'd never start a fight. I didn't think I could at least see through to the end. I think he just like, you know. He likes the idea of things and then gets carried away. Yeah. Some people are just like that though, aren't they? They have these ideals that they sort of feel like they that they they'll do anything to complete, but they don't just have they just don't have the motivation to do it. I'm not like that. I, I if I have a task, if I have a goal, I will see it through to the end regardless. It's just that it's got to be something important to me, you know? Jack is going to have like a mouth on a peach and nod along. Like the Avatar thing, that's it's life-changing. That's something that's amazing. But I'm also going to make it my own thing, you know? I'm not... Oh, dude, they, what's, they, what's they, the first, like, law you're going to pass once to, like, you know, complete all your training <laughs> We don't make laws, man. We don't make laws. We just try and guide people. I mean, yeah, right? you, moder you sort of mediate things, but also you do get to decide on yeah. some laws, don't you? Well, I just want to see, you know, it's going to sound corny, but there's a lot of kids out there that are really struggling to get by. They have nothing. I don't want to see that anymore. I want to see, I want to see everyone having a chance, even at the beginning of life, you know? I want to see all those orphans on the streets. I want to see them having the chance to be able to make something of themselves. Whether that be through money or education or whatever, I don't care how. I just don't want to see more kids going hungry, you know? I think that's a very Avatar goal to have. Both of my parents died during the Fire Nation Civil War. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, it sucks. Ima imagine, right? Having two Fire Lords actually makes things worse. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, it's... I kind of feel guilty for how things have been. And I know... Like, I didn't know, but this world has been really tearing itself apart at the seams without an avatar, you know? And I'm trying my best to try and catch up and learn, but usually by my age, an avatar is an already established person, you know? They've already, you know, mastered all the elements and have brought things you know together. What? I think you'll make a pretty good avatar. Maybe not a great sword fighter, but a pretty good avatar. <laughs> well, if I've got friends like you, then maybe I can. And I'm glad I got to meet you, man. You're you're a good guy. I think you're a pretty great guy too. Cool. Uh, we're gonna move over to the other rooms. Uh, Sora Loban, are you are you doing anything? Sora's just got a massive like book. Uh, it's pretty much like the size of half the bed. <laughs> just like reading that. Just doing some light reading before bed. Hmm. Malcolm's sort of like very pensive. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say uh, Malcolm's sort of sat kind of stiffly on your shoulder at the moment, and uh, it's, still has a bit of a thousand yard stare. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
he sort of jumps off your shoulder after a moment and uh, has a little walk around the room. You okay there, Bart? Uh, yeah, I was... Um... This place has been really weird, and uh, ever since... Um... Ever since I arrived here, I um, had a weird, weird sensation. I don't know what it is. But it's messing with my little noggin. Like, real bad. Oh, yeah, you don't say. I'm struggling. I uh, can't really settle down. And I'm feeling really, really tense and really, like... You know, but I also feel fucking exhausted so it's this weird juxtaposition of just just completely restless but also extremely tired Did you get that yeah it's been a bit overwhelming i think it's mm. just a lot going on yeah yeah i'm still fucked up by that name that came back the lou lou wasn't it lucin what was that name that bugged Lucina. me out that's the one. Yeah. That's Malcolm. Malcolm, like, like, looks really shaken up as he repeats the name. I, um, yeah. It was... All the things to come out, yeah. So, um, when I mentioned it the other day, it didn't mean anything to me but when we were up there I um it was like there was a voice you know and um it was like a woman's voice and I, I recognised it and she didn't say it but I also knew it does that make sense yeah do you know, do you have any idea who, who that is? <sighs> Fuck if I know. No, hey, no. Well, sure. Bart, is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, don't worry, I'm fine. It's, there's just a lot going on in my head right now. and I don't know, Malcolm's the same. <laughs> I noticed you went up to the temple after all. The, I know you said you weren't really that into the spirit spiritual stuff uh, did you kind of feel any connection to anything or were you just <sighs> taking a moment weirdly enough I did I didn't think I would and I I don't know where to put myself now to be honest I mean even, even if you don't feel like you are that spiritual I guess we're all connected spiritually uh, some stronger than others uh, so maybe you do have kind of a strong spiritual connection and you just don't know about it I could try and help you find out if you want I'm just I'm so thrown by it it was almost like there was someone that I knew yeah I know what you mean I had a similar experience huh. I, I feel like you could probably find out more about who you are and a bit about your past, if you tried to connect to your spiritual side, maybe. Guess I'll have to give it a go, huh? Yeah. Um. I I do think you should uh, try and work with uh, Kiyoshi a bit, also because yeah, she seems to be really uh really strongly connected to the spirit world. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? She that really tall one. Yeah. The, yeah. the quiet one. I might... I might go over a word. No way she can't understand me. Never mind. Do you want me to come with? Maybe. I mean... I mean, if she can help me, she can help you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I can translate. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Unless it's something you don't want me to know. No, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to keep any secrets from you. Good. I ain't keeping them from you. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we could go over word with her. I mean, it's only so it's not that late, late, is it? So that's true. Should we go and find her? Yeah, could do. Could do. Good luck. I hope it goes well. 
Thanks, sir. I really appreciate that. All right. I'm always here if you need to talk about anything. Same for you. Thank you. Come on, bud. Let's go. Yeah, right. Um, uh, yeah. You can kind of feel his, like, legs shaking on your shoulder. <laughs> You're not your normal self today, huh? I don't think I've ever been my normal self, whatever that is. <laughs> is there even a normal for us? I don't... well, not even slightly. Which room was it? <sighs> this one, I think, coming up. Alright, okay. I reckon we'll be knock. First. And my van's gonna just very gently knock on the door. There's a slight sound of scurrying. <laughs> like... As a uh, head sort of pokes around. Oh, uh, hello. Um, can I hey. help you? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I'm like, no, 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 no. We were just. We're just catching up. It's fine. Um, because uh, I, I don't just... want to interrupt if you're busy. No, no, we're not busy in the slightest. It's okay. It's okay. Um, hey, I good. just come in, come in, come in, come in. Thank you. Uh, Rangi is uh on on the on the bed, sort of painting her toenails. <laughs> <laughs> we were just uh, we we're just having a chat. Um, can I help you with something? I I was chatting with Sora just a second ago, and she said that obviously you're a bit more spiritual than you know some of the others and oh. i just wanted to see if you could help me out with some things some things i mean i'm not i i, I have some sort of affinity um i guess uh, uh, uh please uh, uh and she sits down on the sofa uh please come come sit over um what is it that you're wanting to find out Look, I, I know nothing about my past. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm from. I, you know, I just don't remember anything past a couple of months ago when I met these guys. And I went up to the shrine earlier and there was this sense of familiarity that I've never had before. And almost like there was someone I knew. And I, I don't know, I've, there's been flickers of things that, like, I, I just know that I hate fire, and I know there's a name I don't like, and I... Okay, no, no, okay, um, uh, and she sort of holds a hand out to you. Uh, please, um, I'm gonna try and my best to sort of commune, I guess. Thanks. Um. Uh, Rangi, is it okay if we get the lights? Rangi sort of sighs. Um, <laughs> and the lights largely go out. <laughs> revealing only. Here. Kiyoshi uh, nods and uh, begins to First of all, let's change the music. <laughs> uh, okay. So, first of all, we need to find some grounding points just to make sure that we don't get too pulled away, as it mm. were. Um, so I'd like you to give me three facts that you know for certain of yourself. Uh, I... They don't need to be anything complex. Just three facts you know of yourself. I'm sitting here right now. <laughs> That's definitely one. I have my friends with me. So that's a second, okay. And I can hear Malcolm. <laughs> Malcolm, the 
The turtle duck. Mm. You can hear him. Yes, no, you said before. That's true. Yes, I think you mentioned something along those lines. Um, okay. Now I need you to focus. Focus on those facts. <laughs> because as you connect with the spiritual world, reality may feel like it's displacing itself. And in doing that, it can make one feel at odds with their surroundings. But just know that you are here right now. You're here with your friends. And that you can speak with Malcolm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Kiyoshi closes her eyes. And you can feel a calm fill the air for the moment. She begins to search within the two of you. Okay. There is distance within you. I'm not certain what this means exactly. Sometimes it's... Uh, sometimes it can mean that you're far from home, but with you it seems different. It feels like you're far from everything. There's a displacement. I don't really understand, though. It's... It's as though you're not where you're supposed to be. But you are here. You are here with me right now and with your friends. And Malcolm can speak to you. caring, compassionate, almost parental. I suppose you don't really know your family though, do you? I'm the same, I, I, I don't have... But there's someone that cares for you greatly and would do anything they could to protect you. And they're with you. I just... I'm uncertain where. I can feel... A burning, a fire, a protective wall of flame. Whilst the world around you burns, you stand undamaged, untarnished, protected. Where is that, though? It's so strange looking. It's not anywhere I recognize. I mean, I'm not well traveled, but there's so much fire, so many flames. She, um, you feel her hand begin to shake slightly. There is no time. All will burn. I... Sorry, that... No time. I've heard that before. The others, they've all had a dream. Those okay. same words. There is... a strength that is protecting you, but I fear that there might also be something else. Something far more dangerous hanging over you. Something with ill intention something that wants to bring ruin to this world 
I don't know for sure. I'm sorry. That's just... It's just this feeling that I'm getting, this intense emotion. It's either... I can't tell if it's anger or if it's immense sadness. Regret, almost. I... Wherever you're from, wherever you come from, it is somewhere far more distant th than I can understand. I... Sorry, I'm not wise with the ways of the spiritual world, so I might not be the best to answer any of these questions you might have right now, but... There is power within you. And it is at odds with another power. But I don't think you should shy away from it. <laughs> now, this feeling you had when you, you went to the shrine, did you experience anything there? Yeah. <sighs> It was this comforting feeling. It was almost like someone's embrace. But I I felt like I knew them. Yeah, that's what I um well it was similar. I had a um Can you tell her about uh Lucina? Can you Yeah. So Malcolm had something similar. The yes, the turtle duck, yes. And there's this name as well, Lucina. Almost, I think. At that point, it's... as you say the name, you feel a slight tremble beneath you. And you look down, and it's your own legs are shaking. And Kiyoshi looks to you, and her eyes are completely white. There is no time. All will burn. A deep voice comes from her mouth, as though her body is being puppeted. There is no time. All will burn. There is no time. All will burn. And you feel an intense burning heat in your head, as though your very eyes have caught fire. Your vision begins to engulf as you feel a swelling sensation ebbing through your body. Your heart pounds against your chest as your vision burns, as you fall to the ground with a heavy thud you catch your breath <gasps> and you feel a grounding a sensation as though the very world has stopped turning for a moment as though the very reality that you live has frozen as though time itself has stopped mid-flow and as you look around you see A wall of white spirits. Nothing is solid. Nothing is. There is no foundation to it anymore. It is the sea of ebbing whiteness. Swirling. Continuously around you. Closing in. Engulfing around you. Until you feel in your chest. A warmth. Calming hand placed upon your chest as an arm pulls you in closely a soft warm embrace the white clouded smoke begins to dissipate 
And as you feel your pounding heart begin to correct itself, you feel the warmth of another set of arms close around you. Larger arms, more muscular. A taller presence holds you close. The embrace from both sends a warmth throughout your body, comforting and soothing, until your eyes flicker back. You find yourself sat upon the seat, Kiyoshi looking at you with some concern. Are you... Are you quite okay? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Rangi, can you get the lights, please? Rangi sort of grumbles from the bed and uh, the lights come back on. I'm sorry, I spoke the name and then you appeared to... It's like you... Not passed out, it was like, it was just like your eyes went blank for a moment. It's nothing to apologize for, please. You didn't do anything. I, uh, I just saw and felt a lot of things. It was just a bit overwhelming, that's all. I've explored the spiritual side of this world a few times. What I experienced with you was something very different and very new. I... I'm sorry I don't have any answers here because this is... Part of me believes that this is something beyond the spiritual realm. Something far beyond any of our understandings. I... I'm sorry I can't help you more with this. I... Don't know what I can tell you. No, it's it's fine. Thank you. You've already done more than enough. I like I, I appreciate this so much. Kiyoshi sort of takes your hand again and gives it a sort of soft squeeze. You're a strong person, I can tell that. Um, both physically and emotionally. Um <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what you're carrying is burden. Um, I've seen the same look in Yun's eyes. This powerful past that you don't quite understand. So much catching up with you and then occasionally overwhelming you. It's it's a formidable thing to have to face, but I can tell you're a formidable person. Thanks. Now, if you need to stay here for a little while, I can get you a, a cup of tea or something, or... I'd uh, really appreciate that. Uh, Kyoshi stands up. And, uh... Heads on out to the other room. Get some tea. In which there's a tea room in the other room, so that's convenient. Uh, so she pours out some tea. Uh, in the meantime, Rangi's still like painting her nails, looking a little uh, confused. <laughs> uh, hi, she says. Hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. No, 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 not not at all, not at all. Just we're just having some gal time. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you can stick around for a bit if you'd like. And I. I don't want to be more of a burden than I already have No, no, have no, no it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Honestly, Kiyoshi could do with some more friends. <laughs> she seems sweet. Just oh, she is. trying to find little, herself. It's a little too much so, in my opinion. And uh, Kiyoshi comes back in, uh, laden with tea. Um, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's green tea, but I've put a drop of honey in there as well, so it's not too bitter. Thank you. I know, it kind of helps when you're... Yeah, um, 
She walks over and sort of sits at the end of the bed. Rangi slumps over and holds her toes out and starts wiggling them. <laughs> we could do Lao Ban's toes next. Yes? Oh, uh, you want to... Yeah, yeah, I think she'd look very pretty with painted nails. I don't think I've ever had my nails painted. What? Rangi jumps off the bed. Now that is just not on. Um, <laughs> give me those feet. Give them to me. Fine. Just this uh, and she, she like pulls your shoes off and starts inspecting. Oh my god, when was the last time you trimmed these? I don't know. I, uh... Right, okay. Kiyoshi, we're going to need to do a full pedicure here. Come on. Kiyoshi sighs and walks over as you begin. Uh, and they begin frantically uh, clipping your toenails and uh, giving you a full toe makeover. <laughs> uh, right. Before anyone goes to bed, is there anything else anyone else would like to do? No. No, Sora, you're reading, I'm assuming. Still reading, yeah. And Faye, uh, you're hopefully you'll you'll cut it up with Erwin. I'm assuming. Yeah, she's probably just like brushing Erwin and getting. Kaka and Yuna are gonna have a sword fight on the bed before going to sleep. Yeah, you both you both fall asleep like with sheathed swords in your arms, um, <laughs> like you put a pillow in between each other to to you know create a, a sort of a wall between you because you're not there yet. Um, <laughs> Five feet apart. And you, and you, go, you fall asleep. Uh, you both are obnoxiously snoring, but neither of you cares because you're so used to your own snores. Um, and it just like echoes and reverberates around the room um, as you settle for a. Uh, um, Laoban, do you do you stay there or do you head back to the room? Um, uh, I'll head back after. Okay. Uh, your toenails have been painted. Um, and you've, uh, it's a bit of an odd sensation. Uh, the, this is probably the first time you've ever had your toenails trimmed. You feel a little off balance almost. Um, and as you, as you, as you leave the room, uh, you can hear the very gentle rumbling coming from Yun and Taka's room. Uh, though the snoring is not quite permeating, there's almost a sort of an essence of, of, of a vibration going through the floor itself. Jesus Christ, I can't hear them, but I can still feel the those. reverberations. Man, those boys have a... Uh... I should probably go to a doctor about that. That's like sleep apnea. You can die from that. God, you can, can't you? Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Now, are you, are you all right? I'm Because, like... I'm I know, fine. it's a stupid question. I don't think you are, are you? Because I'm, I'm not all right, and I didn't fucking freak out just like you did just then. That was... Yeah. When they said that name something went weird with me and something went weird with you I saw it and it's it's not right no it was like I was detached from my body for a moment it was like I was somewhere else I felt bigger it was weird you felt bigger yeah yeah like I didn't feel like a little turtle duck I felt like something else you know you never get that this weird out of body experience almost what, like you were someone else? Well, I've still felt kind of like me, but I don't know. Also, maybe not. It's it's difficult to say. I don't really know how to explain it. It was it was real odd. Like my brain can't really comprehend it all. It's all a lot of a uh, lot of weird shit. All right, I don't I don't know. I just yeah. felt big, and I felt like I was elsewhere. I felt there was someone else there. You were there. It was weird. Because I felt two other people with me as well. Oh, I only felt you and someone else, though. So I didn't... Yeah, didn't it was experience a third me. Person. It was me and two other people. All right. Almost what projecting like? me. Oh. That was I don't know. So I don't... It, like, my memories of it are weirdly hazy. I don't know. I can't... I can't ground it. It's just... I don't know. I'm... Weirded me out. I need some fucking bread. <laughs> you want to go try and look for some? Get get me some fucking bread, otherwise I'm gonna fucking do my nut. 
Should we go in this little tea room, see what there is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we've got going in there. Yeah. <laughs> in the tea room, you find some, like, crackers and some, uh, uh, maybe, a, maybe a piece of cake. I mean, shit, late night snack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just the right time for it, really. Yeah, what was this? No, no wrong time for a snack. Come on. <laughs> he opens his beak expectantly. What, you want me to break it up for you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to eat an entire fucking piece of cake, Emma. Oh, what did your last slave die of? Don't know. Probably a pissy attitude. <laughs> Fine. And that button just kind of crumbles off a, a little chunk of cake and just lets Malcolm have it. Okay. Uh, Faye, I can see you sneaking off downstairs. <laughs> Uh, Faye, Faye's just gonna go and stand outside. Okay. Do you want me to take you out there? Uh, it's all chill. She's just getting some fresh air. No, 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 let's take you outside. Okay. It is now night time. Mm-hmm. We've got a map for that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> showing off that map. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as you as you sort of step outside, you do feel sort of the air is kind of cold, and uh, there's a bit of it. There's a bit of a nip to it, even though we sort of you sort of at the tail end of summer now. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the uh, Earth Kingdom itself is quite a warm place, but you're closer to the coast now. Um, so there's a uh, the cool breeze that's blowing through the night as you're walking through. Nice. She's literally just going outside to do some stretches. Okay. Give me a rely on skills and training, please. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not near the water this time. No, no, you'll be fine, probably. No, you die. Uh <laughs> oh, shit. No, um, you, you are trying to just get your body into sort of rhythm, but you feel very stiff for some reason. Um, and as you sort of bend, you sort of uh, feel a bit of a creak in your back, and you start mm. feeling a little, a little insecure, a little worried um, for some reason. And there's something you just have an ominous feeling. Mm -hmm. Like earlier, you felt like things were okay, but right now you feel like something is just off. Mm -hmm. And the, as the cold breeze blows past you, you do feel a moment of just odd discomfort. She kind of takes in that discomfort for a bit and wriggles her body around and just stretches a little bit. You feel uh, small goosebumps spread <laughs> uh, up across your body uh, as you do so. And you get a slight shiver down your spine, which you sort of shake out. Um, mm. But... Eventually, you feel sort of, um, you're taking a deep breath and you sort of correct yourself and just steady yourself and feel a calm sort of fill you. Yeah, she's very, she's very glad to be on dry land. Hmm. Being on the boat for so long, like, fucked her up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just wanted some time with grass, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The grass is the grass is very soft beneath your feet. Are you wearing shoes? No. <laughs> yeah, it's very. It's there's a cold. There's a sort of um, a cold uh, dew to it, but it's soft against your feet. And mm -hmm. this place, you can feel within this place that there is a true spiritual power to it. Mm -hmm. There is a a warmth about it. Um, though you may not yourself be super well connected to it, even you can feel there's something about this place. Mm -hmm. It's like not an uncomfy feeling. It's like can that way where she'd probably just experience that stuff in passing, but never really to herself. Hmm. It's like a familiar confusion, I guess. Hmm. Uh, but she's just going to make her way back, and she just wanted some time with the actual ground. Yeah. And to breathe the separate away from everyone. Plus, she's in a room with Lord. It's pretty grim, you're right. <laughs> e. 
Yeah. Um, from as you're as you're walking down the corridor, you just hear a distant laughter coming from Haraki's room. <laughs> she appears to be uh, giggling absentmindedly to herself. <laughs> oh, you! She says. You're pretty certain there's no one in there with her, but she's not willing to risk knowing. <laughs> The best. <laughs> yeah, uh, but she's probably just gonna like head back to her room. Yep. She's just chilling. Sometimes you need a moment to yourself to breathe. Yeah. And uh, does anyone else want to do anything? Uh, Laoban, uh, you found some. You found some sort of uh, not seeded bread, just basic sort of um, almost packaged bread. <laughs> Uh, that's used, you know, the stuff that keeps a long time, uh, which Malcolm reluctantly eats. We'll find some better stuff later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those will do for now. Let's do. This we is should probably, like... should probably get some sleep anyway. I am fucking knackered after all of that. I think we've both I, been through a lot. Well, I don't think I'm going to sleep well, but you know, just we should at least try. You know, we can try. Try our fucking best. Sorry, I'm going sleep already. Probably. Well, she's still reading. Oh, yeah, probably, actually. That was a big book. Well, she does read kind of quick. Do they get back to find Sora with the uh, the bed covered in books, I'm assuming? Yeah, so she's, yeah. like, pulled through, like, six books, but she's kind of, like, finally <laughs> fallen asleep, like, halfway yeah. through one. As you walk in, Sora is, like, splayed on the bed <laughs> with, like, a book across her chest and several other books, like, surrounding her. It's almost like wings uh, underneath her. Uh, but she was careful not to get them too much on Laban's side so that she still has space to sleep when she got back. <laughs> She's like made a nest out of the books and yes. it's sort of like buried inside them um, like a demented libra librarian. Um, <laughs> That's a... That is not all right. I think we should probably like, you know, she can't sleep like that. She's going to fucking no. do her neck in, isn't she? She's going to be so uncomfortable. Yeah, all. exactly. Let's we'll save the page she was on. Yeah, yeah. Grab a bookmark or something. If I, no, if I fold the corner, she'll kill me. Yeah. <laughs> and Laval very gently lifts the majority of the books off of the bed and uh, goes and sticks them on the desk and saves the page of the book that has collapsed across Sora's chest and just... Mm -hmm. It's just like quiet. Uh, Sora's so quietly like muttering in her sleep like about uh, space whale monkeys. And the Fire Nation attacking. <laughs> that shit Haraki gave her really fucked her up, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit's good though. So no, I don't think I've ever had it. No, nah, no, nah, me neither. Except How do you know it's up. good? No, nah, I've seen what it can do. Also, I had some in some bread once, and it was like, well, I didn't know <laughs> that it was in there, and then I was tripping my fucking beak off for so long. Space monkeys. No, no, none of that. Hmm. I mean, it was it was it was a long time ago. I, think I, was, I was in a different headspace back then, so it was a hmm. bit more basic, I think. We'll have to quiz her about it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get some information. Come on, let's go, babe. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm ready. He stretches his wings out, and you hear his little bones crack. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was a good one. Let me just get settled in. And he just nestles in sort of like between like your shoulder and your neck and just sort of like nestles in there and like curls up and uh, goes to doze off. Um, and with that, the night sort of comes to a close. Um, a gentle atmosphere fills the building. Um, those of you that have been through some odd experiences today feel a sensation of almost warmth and uh, closure as you do settle in as though the building itself is shielding you and with time the day passes as the night drifts on and we'll leave today's session there for now And
What was I doing for this one? What was the second? <laughs> make something up on the spot. No, I have something. It's just I can't remember what music I was using. <laughs> I have so many tracks. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go. To the north. Well, not that far north. Small tea room. To the south of the Earth Kingdom. Seven figures. Sit uh, around the table of the tea room. Several of them look like they are entirely there by duress. At the centre of them, a middle-aged man sits comfortably in the chair, sipping a cup of tea and looking to his new companions. You've all done very well already. Travels, I know, were not comfortable for all. Yeah, you know, you know shit, Blake said, like shaking. I've never actually flown own on a creature like that before that was entirely not what i expected it to be like, i wrote a whole song about a flying creature and it was not anything like that um kibo laughs and smiles at him the uh experiences you may have with me may be a lot more unexpected that is cryptic as hell, man. Kibo laughs. I am uh, nothing if not crypt. He looks over at Zaya, who is looking at, looking over uh, at Blake, and she looks furious. I've asked uh, Zaya to give you some space, young Blake. I understand she was giving you a little bit of trouble before. Yeah, just a bit. It was it was quite a lot actually. Um she's very very forward. Indeed. Yeah, I'm I'm not really it's not really my I'm kind of there's a there's, there's a girl, you see. Indeed. She's she's someone kind of special to me. Go on. Well, like, I only met her once, really. Well, twice now. But when I met her, she was really... She was really something. And uh, I just... I want to do what I can to protect her best I can. And uh, at the same time, I feel like I might be overstepping a few boundaries doing that. So I'm kind of trying to just do it from a distance now. Um, which is uh, not serving me well because I got arrested. And also, uh, Zaya tried to... Anyway, that, that doesn't matter. The point is that whatever she wants with me, I'm not. I understand, Kibo says with a smile. The heart wants what it wants. And sometimes it can be painful. There are many men that would give anything to save the one they love. Anything. Yeah, yeah, I'd give anything. I'd... I'd Absolutely anything. Blake? That is an extremely dangerous mindset to have. What do you... What do you mean? A man who is simply motivated by love is not a man that is thinking straight. Some men would let the entire world burn to save one singular person. That man is no hero. That man is bringing ruin and causing pain to many other loved ones for his own selfish desire. Are you that sort of man, Blake? That feels like a bit of a jump. Like I, I said, I you know I'm, I'm I'm devoted. I'm not like looking to burn the world down or anything. That's a that's a that's a big big leap. Kibo smiles. Yes. 
I'm sure others would think that way. Sometimes things are not as black and white as we think they are. Sometimes reckless decisions lead to pain and suffering. And those that let their emotions run wild can soon lose control and lose everything else that they hold dear. Varric snorts. <laughs> yes, you'll really want to talk, aren't you, Kibo? I don't remember asking you, Varric. Would you like to be gagged again? No, no, I, I'm, 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 no not at all. I'm just... And he uh, scoots over to Sheila, who turns to him and very gently puts an arm around him. I'm just trying to teach young Blake a simple lesson. Whether he learns from his own mistakes or someone else's, my business. Whose mistakes should I be learning from? That doesn't concern you right now, Blake. We'll have time to go over that in the future. Okay, cool. Uh, where are we going, by the way? Because this is um, this is a lot. Um, all I was given was a very vague instruction that we we're going to be heading to find um, someone. You were very cryptic and very, uh, very cagey about all of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose I was. Can I trust you, Blake? Probably not. No, not in the slightest. Good, you're honest. I appreciate that. I have a task that will... Perhaps be the benefit... Of every living person... On this planet. Okay, it sounds like you feel very highly about yourself. <laughs> no. It is something that is... Only I can do. Only I am able to carry out this task. And I'm only to divulge the plans of this task with those that I truly trust. Tomorrow, I will have you carry out a task for me. In doing so, you will gain my trust. And then I will divulge further what it is I plan to do. Cool. Okay. Right, whatever. I. Blake just turns away and starts sipping tea. At that moment, there is a loud thud at the entranceway. And... The cheery atmosphere of the uh, tavern immediately dissipates. As from the entranceway, a crowd of armed thugs approach the nobles assembled on the side. All right, there doesn't have to be any bloodshed today. Everybody empty out your purses on the floor right now. Immediately, the nobles begin prostrating themselves on the ground, uh, throwing their valuables in front of them as the uh, large group of thugs begin moving throughout, shaking down each individual throughout the uh, building. Zaya scoffs and takes a big sip of her tea as Kibo looks over at her. <sighs> he stands up from his seat and walks over to the crowd. My good men, we were having a pleasant evening. I would that you all vacate with what you have taken. 
and do not darken these doorsteps again. The thugs all turn around and begin laughing maniacally at him. <laughs> and what are you going to do, old man? Yeah. They begin to converge around him. How about you empty out your pockets? Kibo sighs and reaches into his pocket. With a twisting motion, he pulls a flaming fist from his inside pocket, striking in a circular motion, smashing each individual in the face, flinging them to the ground. Each incapacitated man drops with a heavy thud. The one remaining, oh sorry, two remaining thugs jump up quickly and draw weapons. Kibe walks over very slowly towards them. The man steps back instinctively. I'm going to ask you very politely to leave this place with what you have. Otherwise, you'll be leaving with burnt bodies. The man, the man on the right takes another step back as the other man charges forward towards him. A blade drawn, Kibo grabs his arm. The flame burns as the man's entire arm ignites. The man lets out a ah! as he drops to the floor, clutching his burning arm. Kibo steps over him towards the other man. He backs away. Kibo steps forward. He backs away. Kibo steps forward. He backs away. Kibo smiles. You have limited space. Now I've told you, you can leave. But right now, you're going in the wrong direction. I... What did you do? You, 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 my friends. They trifled with me. I am not a man to be trifled with. He immediately closes the gap between them and grabs the man firmly by the arm. Now, as I said, you can leave. You can go. Maybe start a new life. Or, with his right hand, another flame erupts. I can leave you with a little souvenir. The man shakes and tries to pull his pull his arm away. No, no. No, no. Leave or burn. The man drops to his knees, tears streaming down his face. Good. I think we've reached a compromise. He flings the man across the room. He smashes to the ground. And scurrying to his feet, retreats out of the room. Kibo turns to the assembled people, looking at him, mouths agape. M my apologies. I uh, did not mean to disturb everyone's meals, please. My companions will dispose of these troublemakers for you. He steps over the still burning man and returns to his table. Okay. One small job. That is... Remove the garbage from this establishment. And that is where we'll leave today's session.